What's up, everybody? Welcome to IG's live stream of Borderlands 2. I'm Damon Hatfield. This is Randy Pishford. He made the game. <laughs> well, <laughs> he's right here. Take oh. it easy now. <laughs> There's a single, lot of amazing people. Single-handedly, <laughs> I heard. Uh, no, it's the team is the of Gearbox course. team of behind course. Borderlands. I, they walk on water. Of course. So. And this is Dustin Legary. Yeah. Hey guys. He's uh, played the game a whole bunch. Yeah. I will be playing today and uh, showing off some of the new areas. Yeah. So you, you've been playing the final version of the game. Yeah. That's yeah. pretty awesome. That you know you're you're a very rare. <laughs> this is a very rare thing. There's there's a lot of people that would like to be in your shoes right now. Um, but uh, we, we can't wait for everyone to get their hands on it. So what are we doing? Yeah, we are what are we going to see here? We're going to check out the Tundra Express and uh, show off the area a little bit to start. And then we're going to do a mission featuring Tiny Tina, that Tiny Tina has sent us on. So you're level 26 here. We're, we're at what point in the game is this mission? Um, we're about halfway. Yeah, yeah. Around have you been it yet? I have not, Ooh. but Anthony did last <laughs> night. So yeah. So this is the... Uh, her abilities, and she just killed everything. So. She's rad. Check yeah. out these Varkids. Watch what they do. Like, um, if you damage them without killing them, you're really OP for yeah. these guys. Um, I'll try and get a. It's okay. They, they'll actually hive up, and they'll level up, and they'll become more and more powerful. Mm -hmm. They'll go into these little larval hives. Well, viewers, we're going to be playing Borderlands 2 for you for the next two hours, and we've got uh, okay. copies of the game to give away, and copies of the original Borderlands go Game of the Year edition, and includes all of the DLC. We've got four of those prize packs to give away. Uh, you can select the platform of your choice. The way you enter to win is by power. tweeting us at IGN. <laughs> Just tweet so cool. any questions you have about the game, and we'll answer them for you. That also automatically enters you to win a copy. Look at you guys giving stuff away. Yeah. <laughs> People like your stuff. Do you have the stuff here? If you want, I can sign some of it. But I don't know. Do we have it here? I don't think it's here. Well, to be fulfilled All right. when the All game, right. upon right. release of Borderlands 2, which is uh, September 18th, I believe. Uh, no. Yes, yes. It's We're almost up. here. There's Tiny Tina reminding us. Oh, here we go. So he's going to morph into an adult now and actually give me a little bit of a challenge. And he keeps morphing. So there, this is, so they change into an adult. Well, I'll let you talk about yeah, it. Yeah, and they're, they're <laughs> yeah. Just, and this isn't the only creature that does this. Mm -hmm. they, they can keep morphing and keep um, sort of leveling up. They become badasses that eventually are difficult. Now, fortunately, we're a little OP for this, which is kind of nice mm -hmm. because uh, I think we're going to get into some trouble later we you know what since we're just freestyling yeah mm -hmm. um you know we should feel free to uh rampage out a little bit um yeah. maybe take Show down off. some of these bandit towns that okay are, uh, yeah i'm gonna go over here on the right look at, look at your map you've got a whole like army of bar kids <laughs> behind you they yeah. just trailed off they gave up they were yeah. chasing you you were just sort of you were the pied piper <laughs> oh, oh see there's see. some loot it's like it's OCD. I have to bust these open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll grab that. Yeah. Doll to get everyone, yeah. yeah. So over here in this bandit town, hopefully we see one of the bigger guys and we can watch him level up and then try and beat him in his final oh, those form. Are, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. yeah so There's we got we got marauders. They're just yeah. not doing much damage. Now you are so buff right now yeah, compared yeah. to these guys. Oh, so here we go. Oh, Here's the torture. Right, cool. You know, you can shoot. Yeah, look, the midget got free and now he's going to turn on his captor. <laughs> Oh, this captor's dead, so now he's gonna come after you. Oh, uh, here we go. Here's the guy I wanted to show you, show everybody. So I'm gonna try and shoot just his helmet. So there we go. Now he's gonna get mad and kind of goes into a rage. Turn into a raging ah. Goliath. These are like my favorite characters. They, if they kill their ally, they get mad and they turn on their allies, and uh, they'll actually level up too. But, mm -hmm. Like this guy will just keep getting more and more powerful and get badass. So this is a an assault rifle that shoots grenades. It looks like. Oh, he just yeah. freaking yeah. popped that midget. Oh, oh so he yeah. leveled okay, up. So now, he now he's a badass. badass. And now I need to run away. He's jumping bit. you. <laughs> he's already yeah. a badass, I think. And he can kill more. He can become a super badass. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he can go pretty pretty high. He's gonna take out that elite marauder, not me. Oh shoot! <laughs> take out the other guys. There we go. Oh, dude, he's just punching the crap out of me. Yeah, so, he needs some more XP. So what I do is I always lead him towards the other enemies. And this is actually an achievement in the game. Let him level up to his final form and then take him out. Yeah. And yeah. at that point, he's pretty difficult. He's dealing with that torture. All torture right, so the torturer him. took him out. Torturers are pretty tough. And now we'll take out the torturer. This guy, this guy thinks he can do anything to me, so I'm just going to... 
Oh, there's a shock no mad. Those guys are. Those guys. Oh, you wrecked yeah. them. Yeah, it's nice to be OP, yeah. isn't it? OP. One of the neat things about um, Borderlands that I like is because of the way the leveling system works, if you find that the game's becoming too difficult for you, mm -hmm. you can just kind of go back to an easy area, easier area, grind a little bit, mm -hmm. and uh, then you become overpowered for that difficulty, and, and uh, it, it can affect the skill level, make it easier or harder. Mm -hmm. People that race ahead, they'll find a more difficult challenge. Don't touch those mines, by the way. Tiny Tina set up all those mines. <laughs> You're a pretty good shot. Yeah, it took me a little bit. So now he's probably gonna go after yeah, that guy who was helping. Oh, that mine's before. gonna blow. No, he got away from it. So I'll let him deal with that guy, and I'll deal with this guy. Hopefully, get. Oh, got a critical. You oh, like that? Yeah, do it. Whoa! Just jibbed him. There's, there's a foot. <laughs> no, he's not happy with me. Bandit feet. Nice. <laughs> okay. Wrecked him. Do you like the sniper rifles here, Dustin? Yeah, so I've been playing uh, Gunzerker, which is the incorrect class to be sniping everything. Uh -huh. But uh, I got a pretty sweet sniper rifle in my game that um, has 19 rounds, and it's like a minigun, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, that can it's, happen. It's pretty amazing. There's some wild stuff that, and, and Matt and the guys that worked on the guns have done some pretty interesting things. Mm -hmm. There's Tina. Yeah, so this so is looks Tina. Like, yeah, you looks like you've got the side mission already yeah. from her. She sent us on a mission, but let's talk to her. Doing that thing? That's all right. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she has the greatest dialogue. She's hilarious. We so have gonna... to emancipate Sir Reginald. Yeah. So she's uh, throwing a tea party, and she wants to get some uh, guests yes. to the tea party. So we're going to go get them for her. I'm right going to take the long way around this hill. That's cool. Kind of show off this other bandit town. Over Don't here. get hit by the train. Yeah. <laughs> That'll actually <Yeah>. jib you. <laughs> many, many a vault hunter have been lost by that train. Goodies. Now we're starting to get questions in from Twitter already. All right. Uh, Randy, we, can you divulge the weapon count for Borderlands 2? Is that, I, do we have, I, you even know have an exact count? Let me or? tell you, I would, yeah. but I actually don't know what it is. I do know that it's more than Borderlands 1, okay. and I also know that it's not even close. I did, there was an email that went around a while back where one of the guys kind of tabulated all of the, um, the, the guns, plus all of the grenade variants, all the shield variants, and it was almost a hundred million total variants. Of, so it's like a ridiculous quite amount a few, of loot few. varieties. Now, to be fair, to be fair, a lot of those loot varieties are just stat variations, but the, the, the number of variations just in, just in function alone uh, is, is crazy. It's, uh, you know, there's a reason why the oh Guinness boy. Book of World Records gave Borderlands right. the world record for most guns ever in a right. video game. And you were just saying uh, you got that that record recently. So yeah, it yeah, recently, it was And now they're going to have to like update it already. Yeah, they, they, you know, it's, I think they used, I'm not exactly sure how they did the count, I think they used some of the tools that some modders created on the mm -hmm. internet uh, to help them with that. But, oh, I hear, a, I hear a buzzard overhead. And there's a, there's a quest right there, we should, oh, it's a data log. Okay. So that's a side mission. Yeah, Will the Bandit, we should do this. Okay, all right, we can do it, it's in the right area. If you're hearing this, you just killed me. Yeah. <laughs> but he's like, that's cool. I keep my best guns in my garage, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is a fun mission, actually, so we'll do this one quick. Why not, since we're exploring? I, listen, this is a side mission. I'm going to do my best to keep us from spoiling anything, because we've done right. such a good job so far. But you know, there's, there's no harm, I think, in just running around. And uh, I know that the folks watching are kind of looking forward to seeing some new details and new information. But we also, you know, I've been, I've been very careful to keep us from spoiling things that are really important about mm -hmm. the main storyline uh, in all of the PR we've been doing. So, mm -hmm. yeah. but running around here and just killing stuff and finding loot and doing some of these side missions, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, here's an example of like an environmental thing that you can shoot that causes environmental damage to <laughs> myself because I was standing too close. Yeah. Notice how you're, you, you, I don't know if you remember from Borderlands 1, but you're auto looting little incidental things. Like you just mm -hmm. walk near cache and it hoovers up. Uh, there's a ton of options that allow you to configure things like that. Um, speaking of options, you want to take a second and hit the start button. Yeah, sure, let um, me uh, get behind you in case I'm being, I'm being chased by. Yeah. Okay, so there, there's the bandit loot. But right. we're gonna take a second yeah, and so take a look. Hit the hit, not back. Hit the start button. Okay. Um, in the options, this is some cool stuff. Go to like controller. Like you'll notice that you have uh, like there's a lot. Let's scroll down. You have all these. Uh, you have presets, and you can you can change the presets. Um, and there's presets for like the common kind of configurations that you find in other games. But look at the, look at down here. Look at what happens if you press the Y button. Oh, nice. 
you can do a complete remapping of all of your uh, functions. I, I wouldn't recommend that right now. Yeah, <laughs> but you can you can remap. So like, and we've had we've had some people. Oh, how yeah. do I get out? Yeah, just and, and go back to controller and set it back to the preset you wanted, which yeah. was default. Default, yeah. yeah. Um, and we've got Southpaw and Legacy and all kinds of other things mm -hmm. already set as presets, but you can totally do a reconfigure. And I know that there's like sometimes that we get mail from disabled gamers that. Don't mm -hmm. have you know this, this, the full function of their hands or whatever, and they want custom configurations. Sometimes we get gamers that have been playing for a long time, and they have different unique ways of playing the game. Or some people just have crazy controllers, and they want to optimize their interface for that. So we really put some extra effort in there. Uh, speaking of controllers, all right, let's do this. So you can see just in the environment, there's a lot going on. You know, a lot of motion. Like we already wiped out all these guys, but let's see what happens when we pick up his loot. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he was trying to death frag you. All the all the behaviors too, the guys dodging and reacting to your shots, like all that kind of stuff is new in Borderlands 2. You know, in Borderlands 1 we just had a handful of behaviors per character, and now we have dozens and dozens and dozens of behaviors and reactions and animations. You shot the leg out from under that guy and Yeah. That was a that was actually an animation blended into Ragdoll. He just took <laughs> For example. <laughs> that guy, yeah, he's not he's unhappy right now. <laughs> Sorry about your legs, dude. I'm, I'm yeah. disappointed because I, I can't wait for Borderlands 2, but I'm, I'm going to Tokyo Game Show. Oh! So I'll be in Tokyo when it comes out, and I can't I have to wait till wait, like a wait, week. Wait, wait, Tokyo for, Game Show is like in October, isn't it? No, it's like next week. It's Are you like, uh, it starts on like the 20th or something, so oh, I'll wow. already Somebody asked out. me to go, and I, I'm like, look, it's not, you it's know, like right let, let the yeah, people handle all that. I, I yeah. the, the PR folks at 2K and at Gearbox have been so amazing, just kind of worrying about all that for me, but they have sent me all over the world talking yeah, about this game. Yeah, and it's really neat because everywhere I've been, I'll, let me tell you something, you know, I was just in Tokyo uh, just a few weeks ago, and they're really starting to grasp and love Western games over there. Yeah. I, I just couldn't, couldn't believe the reception we got. They were so nice and so, um, just so thrilled that, you know, I'd gone over there and, and you know, they're, they're really starting to figure out what we've got going on over mm -hmm. here, so that's pretty awesome. That's great to hear. Yeah. Hold it right there. Okay. I just like doing this. Yeah, you from the I back. I haven't been playing this class, so it's great. Ooh, Iridium. Oh, Iridium. Sure you yeah. have ten. Ten Iridium. Have you been to the uh oh, have yeah. you been to the first, black market vendor? First thing I did was upgrade my backpack. I don't you think it'd be a spoiler to tell people who the black market vendor is? Has that been out already? I don't know if anybody's talked about that. The black I don't market vendor. <laughs> We're getting the uh, no stop. Getting, uh, stop talking. <laughs> yeah. so, Have we talked saying. about that yet? Uh, we'll let, I don't want to spoil surprises, but uh, it's pretty yeah. neat. I have an affinity to uh, to that particular one. Oh, that guy evolved to see the Varkid. Yeah, I, I saw him. Let him yeah, evolve again. Oh, you just oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he I, keeps evolving. Gets bigger and gnarlier and bigger and gnarlier. Oh, that's okay. There's a Varkid up here that's... Yeah, uh, <laughs> he, he might be evolved already. Yeah. Or she. <laughs> I uh, forgot about this. So Randy, when you play, what class do you You know, you I'm schizophrenic. Yep. I w during most of the development of the game, I played uh, the Gunzerker, um, Salvador, and that, I think that was at first because he was the first one that was really kind of built and ready. But uh, I have a lot of fun with him, and I really, I still have an affinity for him. The, um, the, the, the assassin class I switched to when the bloodshed tree got built out because you know, th th there's some skills there about lunging, like doing automatic lunges towards the enemy with melee strikes and some other things that that I had kind of cautioned uh, Paul Helquist and um, and uh, Jonathan Hemingway against. Jonathan Hemingway designed most of the uh, skills in the game, and Paul Helquist is the it was the creative director of the project. And I, um, oh. I, I thought <laughs> I thought that their plan was risky, and I said, don't you know, you shouldn't try this skill. And I I, I pushed them to back away from it, and. Um, you know, I think it kind of worked out because that skill was going to be like the overarching thing, and I think deception is awesome. But they put that in, in a tree and dedicated a tree to their ideas there, and I'm really glad they kind of ignored me and just went for it anyway because it turned out to be awesome. So once they got it working, I went and checked it out, and I was having so much fun with it that I just started playing Zero a lot. Cool. Uh, but about a month ago, I switched over to Maya, and it's, which you're playing Maya now, mm -hmm. and um, you're, you're playing the um, which, which tree are you are you building down? Let's take a look. The motion tree, I think. Yeah, I, I've been playing co-op, so I've been using her with Harmony, which is kind of the healer class, and I really kind mm -hmm. of enjoy that support role. But I, I, I'm, I have a feeling like I was looking at the Cataclysm class, and I'm going to respect soon, and because uh, she can just light everything on fire and electrocute them at the same time and melt them, <laughs> like massive elemental damage with the Cataclysm. 
a tree. Yeah. So, so <laughs> harmony is great for crowd control. Mm. I'm sorry, motion is great for crowd control. And um, motion also gives you the ability to uh, uh, turn enemies into friends by phase locking them. And I'm just kind of showing off your map here. Isn't that like, cool? um, like this is you can go to all these areas, yeah. and this is one area. This is and all like this mountain space. here in the middle, you can kind of walk around it, and there's stuff back there. And yeah, you do a better job <laughs> showing off <laughs> yeah. game than we do. Yeah. So, you know, uh, yeah. I love that though. That's like that's what you're what you're experiencing, and what you're like you're proud of on our behalf is like that's why we fight. You know. And the team works so hard on this game. There's Mod Madame Von Bartlesby. Oh yeah, she's actually kind of like a little Yeah, you're, you're really buff though. This is like, if you deal with her at equal level, this is a very challenging boss fight. I did this fight no normally. Like at the 15? First time I did it. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, it was pretty tough. Some of the QA guys. So this can, is like revenge. At 12. This is revenge. Yeah, for me. Look at this. Now go get Sir Reginald. We have so many things to discuss. <laughs> She's got this whole idea. So this that is Sir gonna... Reginald right here. It's a, yeah. a fly That's in a Reginald. bucket. <laughs> now I just need you to find Princess Fluffy Butt and get me some scrap metal from the buzzards so you can make me a teapot. Just blow up some buzzards and pick up the flamey bits. <laughs> <laughs> She's awesome. Oh no. The most dangerous no, it's okay. 13 No right? fall damage. Which is no fall in, in the game at all? Crumpets yeah. are is that Crumpets are crook! What? <laughs> Is there going to be fall damage in the no, game at all? No, no. Well, I like that. You know personally. what? Like, why punish yeah. you? There's, th like, think of what you just did there. Mm -hmm. And if we did fall damage, you probably would have just exploded. Yeah. Would you have had fun? No. Did you just have fun with what you did? <laughs> yeah. Yes. There's the answer. Does like, I'm like, I just want to go there. I don't want to. Like... And, and when you cut loose, you know, I'm really glad that Borderlands, because it's on a foreign planet, because it's got this wacky style, like, it allows us to kind of cut loose a lot of the kind of constraints that we force upon ourselves with the way we think the world should work, and instead just build it to what's going to be most fun. Mm -hmm. And as a result, you get this really kind of, you just wreck that dude. <laughs> oh, it's so nice going back to this area. Yeah, you're so it OP. Difficult. There's the crumpets. Yeah. Oh, and I got to get the buzzards, too. I love her flavor. I'm going to eat so many goddamn crumpets. <laughs> it's going to be a crumpocalypse. Flying around. So Grand Theft Pizza asks, what is the game link in comparison to the first one? Oh boy, it just missions and playing through everything about twice as much content. It's also denser content. It's more dense content mm -hmm. compared to the first game. Like the, the quality is higher throughout. There's more detail throughout. Like everything's better throughout. Um, and there's about twice as much total stuff. Mm -hmm. But there's also some end game stuff. Like some of the end game things we started playing around with some of, with some of the uh, DLC. We actually included bits of that in the main game. So we're really, oh look, see the guys bail yeah, out right before it blew up? That was awesome. And you Don't got another off. piece. Oh, no, you got it. It's ready, it's ready to feed, isn't it? Yeah, I grabbed it. Okay. There you go, this, that is, guy. this is great when you're OP. Yeah. Dude, have you ever seen um, those big guys, like when they get berserk, jump up at a buzzard? Oh, yes. Dude, yeah. that, like when they get mad there. at the buzzards, that's just like it's glory happens. Yeah, because the buzzards, when you play through this the first time, they're pretty annoying. They're tough, dude. They're yeah. death from above, man. They'll be hiding in a house. And there's like usually guys. There's usually guys on the in the jump seats shooting at you and stuff. Perfect. You're like Got a pro. It. Yeah. That's what I do. Play the games. <laughs> Shorty, you the best. Plays the game. <laughs> you the best. See the icons on the HUD down there. Um, we're putting a lot more information about your status. Mm -hmm. So we need that. Those are two kill skills that you have active. Um, Oh, There's some other buffs that you can get to the so now you have both of your kill skills active again your next kill, your next damage will do more You'll get the benefit of those particular buffs that are indicated down there as icons. Stuff's just blowing up all around Yeah, me. you're just <laughs> wrecking shit. It's so awesome. All right, so I gotta get Princess Fluffy Butt now. Princess Fluffy Butt Randy Zach Mernst Zach okay. Mernst asks he says Borderlands 2 is obviously very funny Was all this comedy originally intended or did it become funny organically? Um, there was always Hold on. Oh man, this party's gonna be off the chisel for Rizzo. Obviously, very <laughs> funny. <laughs> the goal was, uh, you know, there was always attitude in the game, and there was always a personality to it. When the art direction really took off, uh, that amplified things even more. And and you know, with Borderlands 2, we've really come into our own with embracing the 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 the, the nature of it. Now, yeah, there are funny bits. It's not necessarily a comedy game, though. It's very authentic for this universe and the style that it takes. But there's there's just a lot of attitude and personality that comes through in so many different ways. And I mean, uh, some of the stuff that Anthony created for this just 
makes my, just, I laugh, I roll around. Yeah. It's just funny, funny stuff. But even back in the beginning, when Matt Armstrong, the director of Borderlands 1, when he was first kind of exploring things tonally, like, he, when, he, when he implemented the first currency in the game, he called it cash money. <laughs> right, like it's like yeah. it wasn't like credits or anything. Right. Like it was, it was cash money, you know. And that, you, know, that you killed the, you killed the thing as it was morphing. You can do that, by the mm -hmm. way. You can. You yeah, can, and you still get the experience. Points. Yeah, yeah, so if yeah. You catch so them like, mid -morph. it's it, yeah, it's good to catch them when they're when they're in a pod because they can't hurt you when they're in a pod. Right. If you let them emerge, they're gonna be even stronger. So yeah. get them while they're weak. Anyway, sorry for interrupting myself there. No. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> but yeah. So so attitudes always, personality's always been there, and, and it really develops organically. Even though that like with Borderlands 2, Anthony Birch was the the, the writer for the game, so he, that he was responsible and accountable for the dialogue. So many people threw in so much invention and so much creativity. Uh, there's you know, th this is really a team-built game, and you can feel the personalities of the developers so throughout. So good to see you, Sir Reginald. Let's gossip. You are the king. All right. So that's not quite it. We're missing a party member. Now to invite the guest of honor. You want to keep going on this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, all right. Let's do it. We got. We got. About to throw a tea party, and that guest of honor is missing. Do me a flavor and lure our guest to the party, or I'll eat your babies. Bye -bye. All right, so we got to go get flesh stick. The bye. So flesh stick is the guest of honor. He's actually a bandit in the nearby town that you kind of ran through earlier. Yeah. Hopefully, I didn't murder him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, the, you know, the new challenge is you're so overpowered, you're going to have to be careful not to kill him too Oh, easy. that's right. Okay, so I know what to do for that. So I'm going to switch out one of my guns for, like, take, the worst, gu worst gun I have, um, which is a sniper rifle, <laughs> which is not good. So I'll try this sniper rifle. Mike Linetti asks, what kind of things can you buy from Crazy Earl's Black Market? Oh, I guess that is up then. Mike Linetti knows that <laughs> Crazy Earl's the Black Market. Well, I... Maybe I want. Maybe then the secret should be to make that okay. discoverable. Yeah. So, Crazy Earl is back, and he's the black market guy. Got so it. I guess that got out somehow. All right. <laughs> or maybe he was just who, who, you. who answered maybe the question. He was us. His name is Mike Linetti. Mike Linetti. Yeah. Ask Mike where he learned that. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> um, maybe I said it. I don't know. It's, <laughs> it's uh, starting to become a blur. Oh, here we go. You just lure him back to my abode, and I'll do the rest. Okay. Now he's pissed at you. Oh. Okay. Good. The other thing you can do is just like, I can like shoot, shoot at his feet, him. yeah, near yeah. him, and he gets mad at, you know, he gets agitated. Where do you go? Huh? Oh, jeez. Um, so yeah, so there, there's a number of things you can buy, um, upgrades and other uh, cool things that are only some really unique and good pieces of gear and unique upgrades that are only possible to get from the black market. And his currency is Iridium. So, oh yeah. yeah, those are important. Very valuable. <laughs> But, you know, a lot of people don't know this. Um, I did the voice of Crazy Earl. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's me. <laughs> that's great. Yeah. Oh, there you got him. <laughs> Track him through the tunnels. Oh, yeah. You can see him, like, smacking in the dust falling as he goes through. Mm -hmm. I think I missed it. You missed it. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. Tina has to have her tea party now. And you get some gear. What are you going to mm, pick? I'll, I'll take the rocket launcher, of course. Why not? Time for the party. You're going to be the waiter. Hit Mr. Sparks over there to bring in Mr. Fleshstick. This is Mr. Sparks. <laughs> <laughs> I bet your mommy and daddy screamed as they died. When you're ready to start the party, please smack Mr. Fleshstick in his bitch face. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention, I'm inviting Fleshstick's friends to his place. Make sure they don't get too rowdy and break the generator. Okay, so now we need to... Ready for a mother humping tea party! That is a great line. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty good. Please stop. <laughs> oh, you've got the, the gravity well skill on there, whatever. I can't remember what, we, what that skill's called, but it turns your... Um, phase lock not only into a crowd control on the creature that it hits, but it sucks the other enemies into it like mm -hmm. a like a like a vortex. Dude, you're so OP. <laughs> I can't hear you 
We'll be doing a harder mission in just a little bit, so. <laughs> She's electrocuting flesh stick back there. Yeah. Did you free here. the, oh yeah. What kind of grenades you got? I think they're, they it's look like, like slag grenades. Yeah, and they've got little children that they're spawning. Oh, I missed. I moved a little. <laughs> I like that when they're clearly dead. They keep uh, they keep saying things yeah, sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> it's nighttime out there. Oh, this is a three burst round sniper rifle. Oh, I actually used one of these for a very long time. Oh, you guys are getting too close. Yeah, so you really... <laughs> she likes to keep some... I love the dialogue with Tina. She's hilarious. Sorry, go ahead. Seems like you guys really encourage people just with how the game's set up to use their powers more. Yeah. They, they recharge, but you still kind of feel like a badass. In yes. Yes. That guy's fighting something over there. You got a, a Goliath and a Shock Trooper. Reload. Let's have the oh. Goliath do a little work for me. I think there's going to be some more Goliaths coming in. No. <laughs> no. Don't go that way. I think that was wave two. Yeah. Oh, you killed the midget. <laughs> Alertness is wondering okay. how will vehicles work in Borderlands 2 and are there any new vehicle types? Yeah, there's there's a new vehicle type and some new weapons for them and it works similarly to Borderlands 1, uh, you know, with their mounts, great for transportation. Um, but there are the new types, there's a four person technical now. Um, in fact, I tweeted a picture of a live action technical that there was a photo, uh, a film shoot for something live action related that we're kind of playing with that uh, will be out soon. And um, the technical is awesome. It's big, bulky. It's got some badass weaponry on it. Four people can get on the damn thing. It is really fast. Uh, the other neat thing, though, there's a lot more customization options with skins, and you can even find them as gear. Find uh, customizations as loot. I hit them both. I just wanted to yeah. see if they'd fight each other. Go after the other guys. No. Dude, she's just electrocuting the crap out of flesh there. There was a version of him that, yeah. I don't know if it shipped, but one of the concepts, he would wear a shirt, and his shirt said, weak spot, with an arrow right to his head. Is <laughs> still wave two right now? Yeah, yeah so this wave is wave two. three right now. That he's so is this similar at all to any of the pre-order bonuses that you're gonna have? Like I know you're gonna have an arena type thing? Yeah, um, the, the game, there's a one that's exclusive to GameStop called um, the Creature Slaughter Dome, which is an arena fight. It, it is waved combat, but it's a little more planned than this. This is just sort of a, a situation, I guess, that's unfolding. Look at that Goliath there with a the giant minigun. He just wrecked him, he just slagged up. Well done, Destiny. Let's see, let's see how well I do when I actually am in a challenging yeah. area. See the hint there, of course, is Flesh Stick yeah. was the one that killed him. Interesting the point, Monsieur Flesh Stick. Mr. Sparks, what do you think? <laughs> So she's all cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Um, pick up some ammo before we go. Yeah, there you go. Good idea. Yeah, she's got some loot in here. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, maybe um, we look at your mission log and see if there's any other side missions we want to do. <coughs> all right. This might be a good point to give away a Borderlands prize. Package. Oh yeah. 
We're going to give away a copy of Borderlands 1 and 2 for the system of your choice. This is going to go to Fillmore777, who asks, is there a dramatic difference between class customization compared to the first Borderlands? Okay. Um, yes. Uh, the, there's a similar kind of construct of building skill trees, but the capabilities of each class is radically different, much more so than Borderlands 1. And what the skills do to further modify that uh, is radically different. The, the, you got 12 Iridium now. You, you, yeah, it could you go build upgrade. It up. um, the, uh, so so go, yeah, going back to the skills, the different skill trees uh, have radically different playstyles. For example, uh, we were looking at uh, Maya here, and if you consider, um, like hit the Y button to do the overview. So here's our skill trees. The tree on the left that, that's currently being built down, that's all about crowd control and using phase lock to kind of lock down enemies to control them. The ultimate skill there actually mind controls the enemy and, and turns them into friends. Uh, Harmony is sort of a healing tree and it allows her to heal herself and her friends um, even to the point where she has healing bullets and other things like that. Cataclysm is all about delivering damage. It's all about using her ability to um, create elemental effects and put elemental effects on large numbers of enemies and doing lots of damage with them. So each of these Skill trees leads to a very radically different play style and different um, potential for how these characters play either when you're playing alone or cooperatively. Other characters have similar things, like I was talking about Zero earlier and how he has this awesome uh, backstab ability with this, uh, with where he can rush and, and, and use a sword to, to execute someone really quick. On the opposite side, one of his other skill trees is all about sniping, which is about as far away as you can get from melee. You know, it's all about long range critical hits. And um, that, that variety in, in play styles doesn't just extend from character to character, but also within character at the different skill trees. So it's, uh, we're ha we had a lot, you know, the, in the, Jonathan and, and Paul and the other guys that were involved in building the skills that just did such an incredible job, and uh, I'm just grateful to be able to work with guys like that. <laughs> this looks so what should we do next? Well, let's see what we got for side missions. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, oh, wait, I go to the map for a second. Go to the map. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah, and then zoom out, like, so the triggers zoom in and out, I think. Okay, so yeah, so that's zoomed, zoomed in. in. Yeah. So you are max zoom. So like, remember mm -hmm. when you were up looking at that? So this is just one, uh, one just zone called Tundra mm -hmm. Express, and there are many zones in the game, and they're all very expansive like mm -hmm. this. And we were just kind of playing around just in that little area there. We haven't even really explored this full. We didn't discover this stuff. We haven't over even here. discovered that. And so far, what we've walked through hasn't even been this whole section yet. Mm -hmm. Um, all right, let's go to the quest thing. Well, anyway, Costa we know we're Caverns. going to Costa Caverns. Okay. Do you want to head there? Let's do it. Oh, look, at it's level 26, too. It's yeah. right around where you're at. So, so. let's see how you yeah. can play. <laughs> let's see if I'm still actual, good. <laughs> actual challenges. So I had one question. I don't think um, anyone, I don't think this has ever been shown before. Ooh, exclusive. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, so Skyrim did something with their mission structure that was kind of interesting. They made it infinite, like infinitely respawn, kind of yeah. side quests and stuff. Yeah. Did you guys ever consider that in your development we, cycle? We have some uh, missions that are repeatable. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a bunch of those. There's also some end game content, you know, farmable kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. There's also um, the ability when you burn through, you know, the, the, the quest missions in the game, there's always restarts and you can do infinite restarts. So like you can, you can play again with um, playthrough two, you know, new game plus, so to speak. And then there's 2.5, which is everything's level capped. Um, and you can just keep doing that. Um, and then, you know what, that, that, there's so much there that um, that's great for now. And we intend to do some things. Like we just announced, for example, that we are going to do four new campaign DLCs. We actually have already begun work on a couple of them. Uh, planning, you know, designing and building them out uh, once the game was finished. And, um, and, and in the course of those DLCs, we'll probably do some other things with the playthroughs of the main game, um, maybe some level cap increases and some other playthroughs that we can add. Um, but we want, um, you know, you don't want to, it's, it's kind of difficult to do the whole arbitrary, look at, by the way, this is a good overview of yeah. all the different locations. You can see a larger map of Pandora. He's unlocked. You've unlocked a lot of different uh, fast travel locations. Each one is a, a you know expansive kind of space. So this is one area. It's I'd almost say more confined than some of them. And uh, yeah, you have all these different areas. In fact, if you want to go to um, go to a sanctuary really quick. Okay. And I, I'll show you where. I don't know if you've seen um, where you respec. Mm -hmm. You know where that is. Um, yeah. And, yeah. It's and by the. You know head what else thing? we can do? We can see what if uh, if this. Uh, you said this is who, who's who's. Uh, Character is this that we love? So this up. is a different Damon's uh, okay. character who's okay. playing. Yeah. Let's go see if he's unlocked any heads or anything. 
Yeah, so actually I think I just got one in my inventory. So oh, let's, let's see. Let's, use it. let's see if I uh, Yeah, so yeah, we got customization. a customization. Okay, so that's a bandit war paint skin mm -hmm. that you found and now he's unlocked the skin. So when he goes to the customization um, uh, booth booth right here, it's on the opposite side. Oh, so we'll no be. run through that turn around. Or you, or you can go around. I'll, yeah. I'll go the long one. Right. <laughs> cool. Boom. It's right here. Yeah, so this will let her respec if she wants. And she's also able to uh, pick some different different customizations. Mm -hmm. Different hair. So you've only unlocked a couple. There's tons. Ooh, you got a lot more of these skins, though. Mm -hmm. I like the branded ones. Oh, Torg, by the way. I love Torg weapons in Borderlands 2. Mm -hmm. They're so good. So uh, my character I play through is a Gunzerker, and um, I play with the skin I Blew Myself, <laughs> which is a nod to Arrested Development, yeah. which is great. Yeah, and there's yeah. tons of little, you know, Nods of the head like there, that in the there's game. There's a lot of fun little things we've done with names and all mm -hmm. that. Go down and look at the new skin you just got. Just um, which one was it? it was, was it uh, uh, down a bit? It's the Bandit War Paint. Yeah. Okay. So that's the one you just earned. Oh, Do you nice. earn skins by completing quests? You can earn them by you can earn them as random loot drops. Okay. You can earn them uh, sometimes certain challenges and, and missions will give them to you. And then if we wanted to, we could respec. Yeah, but and uh, at this stage, it would only cost you two grand. Yeah. We picked a price there, which makes you feel committed to your choices, but mm -hmm. not irreversibly committed. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. you, like, you know, it's two grand is you know five percent of your total your total income in this particular instance. Mm -hmm. Um, it's based, the, the price is based on how many skill points you've allocated. Can we go visit the guy you voiced? Um, oh yeah, is that hold okay? on, go back and look. I just want everybody, you can see what that vending machine looks like. So you can see, yeah. if you, when you see the character with the head swapping, mm -hmm. that's the vending machine where you do respects, renames, heads, and skin changes. Yeah, it's outside the central area yeah. of the... Pier station, and your fast travel, turn right to show the fast travel. Oh. That's the fast travel, so whenever you show up to Sanctuary, sanctuary it's right there. Mm -hmm. So cool. Yeah, so yeah, go ahead, if you want. All right, all right. So uh, it's this guy, right, in the hotel? Or hostel? Yeah. Is this him? Yeah? Who okay. told you about this place? <laughs> <laughs> upgrade the back. Oh, 20. Yeah. No. You don't have enough yet for that upgrade. You can, there's some gear you can look at the rare shit. Yeah. So. Purples and all kinds of stuff. Ah. Uh, I want to up, upgrade a little bit. Yeah, let's say, I, I recommend saving for the upgrade. How, I don't know if you know this too, but there's some other uses for Iridium. Unlocking secret. Parts of the game. Oh, really? And yes, it's uh, some really cool that. stuff. Yeah, end game stuff. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, go, you know what? Since we're here, go, go mm -hmm. run over to Moxie's and the slot machine because that's another place. Uh, she's got slot machines in there. You can actually win skins and heads mm -hmm. in the slot machines. I got a little turn around here. So. Yeah. Is it this one? There she is. Yeah, there yeah. we go. Viewers, we are currently live streaming Borderlands 2 all over your face. If you have any questions for Randy oh, Pitchford, also tweet them at IGN. I mean, I spilled a drink before you came in. Not because you tipped me. <laughs> God, I'm not that easy. <laughs> so that's Moxie's new outfit. Can you can up? see, uh, you, back, you so can see she's gotten some new digs since Borderlands 1. One step closer to rebuilding the underdome. And one more Jackie should just, just like, uh, oh, yeah. I tipped her ten grand. Sugar daddy. <laughs> Let's see what she, uh, what she gives us. <laughs> Mox is talking about it. <laughs> but it's good stuff. And his tits are his Oh, she didn't give me the gun this time. Oh, well. Maybe uh, use, use the slot machine. It's actually kind of random uh, when she decides to do it. Oh, what did I get? I almost got, got, ah, sure, I'll take it. Almost got Iridium. Which is amazing. That would have been great. Sometimes you can win skins off of this if you like it. Now it is it is actual slot machine math here, so, oh, so will, the odds of me hitting yeah, are you, pretty you will low. lose more than you'll win. Oh, but, hey, look at that, you got a green. It's off to the side. Oh, oh, okay. yeah, see the side opens up and then you get Nice. <laughs> cool. Yeah. But there there's if you keep playing that, there's some heads and skins you could win from the slot machine. There's other places you can get them since since you asked. So Mixtape Chick asks, what changes, if any, have been made to the multiplayer aspect of the game? Yeah, well, the whole game is multiplayer in right. the sense that you can, at any time, like it, if we had a second joystick, we could plug it in and I could join you co-op. Yeah. Um, and we could play it split screen, or if we had a friend that was playing online, we can connect with them online and 
one of us can join the other person's game. So if you and I were playing split screen, yeah. sorry to interrupt you, yeah. you, we're playing split screen, can another person join us um, online? If, if we're playing split screen, yeah. uh, we can then host a game, so mm -hmm. an online player can join us, or mm -hmm. we can have our split screen game join some other hosted game online. So you, okay. all of those possible configurations. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty awesome. Um, in terms of PvP, um, like head-to-head -head kind of stuff, at any time, you can challenge another player to a duel. And uh, when you do, yeah, you melee them, yeah. and it's, it challenges you to duel, and if they melee you back, then, um, then, it's, on. then it's on, and, yeah. a, and a dome will surround you, and, and there'll be a battle there, and, uh, and, and it'll keep track of um, you know, the, the, the situation so that one, one side wins, the dome, the dome comes up. It'll also give a countdown, like, three, two, one, fight, you know, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, we, we, our priority here isn't competitive. Mm -hmm. Gaming, it's really a, an adventure and it's about a shared experience. Um, but if you, you know, sometimes people talk, you know, talk smack and so you have the dual <laughs> system. You have the dual system so people can put their skill where their mouth is. Kate Vino 5 asks, how often do boss battles occur? Um, reasonably frequent and pretty decent pace. Um, not, not overdone, not underdone. They're fun and they're interesting and there's a whole bunch of weird things that can happen. I don't want to spoil any of the bosses, um, so, uh, but uh, I, they're, they're, they're fun. <laughs> Enough. The, um, there's some big stuff too. There's some big, big things like, like look, look up and around in this environment. Like, see that building there? Here. There's things in the game, creatures that are bigger than that building. <laughs> Oh. You'll be doing this. So definitely bigger than that truck. We're heading out into the caustic caverns. Mm -hmm. Like, this guy is pretty That's big. Just a list. These guys are pretty tough. Yeah, they are. They are tough. I've never hit them with that before. Especially from crowd control. A little faster, oh god. Out the weak, weak spot. Cool. Yeah, so the weak spot is their legs. I like how I was OP before, now. Now you're like, now oh, I'm I like, run away! <laughs> oh, he's mad. Give me your monies. Oh, I got him blowing up. I got people behind me shooting at me. And but he, he drops trapped. lots yeah, and yeah, lots yeah. of them. Yeah, they're, they're good uh, farming. Boss, farming monsters. Mm -hmm. That wasn't a boss either, that was just like. That was just some guy. Average, yeah. <laughs> average garden variety chrysalis. Yeah, and there's another one. And there's all kinds of interesting chrysalis. This guy's volatile, so he'll explode. Well, I usually sit back and try yeah, and snipe him. Yeah, that's a good idea with the volatile ones, especially. But they're still shooting spikes at you yeah, the whole time. There's a one behind him also. Yeah, he knows, he knows you want to stay at range. Oh, and boy. He doesn't like that. So he's gonna, yeah, he's gonna and his buddy is, you know, he's on me. So you just took a massive amount of damage from the explosion. So you're, you're oh, yeah. your health. Yeah. You were a little close. So <laughs> I need to run away. <laughs> you can a lot right now. Yeah. yeah. I'm so. Like, if anybody's it's fine, down, it's fine, if anybody's it's downstairs and wants to hop on and join us, go for it. <laughs> if I get killed by a larval, <laughs> I'm gonna be very disappointed. Yeah, that would not be. <laughs> that would not be the. The brave end of your adventure. Yeah. There was a grenade back there. Did you see what type it was? I was running away from the like, marble. I'll deal with you in a minute. <laughs> yeah. Give me a second. Oh no, that's I got bad. Oh, yeah, now you do not want to let these guys evolve because they're harder. Yeah. This is actually at your level. Stop running around. You have your... Uh, okay. Oh, wow. That's a thrown Murray. A Mur so, so I'm taking a that. Bandit, a bandit <laughs> one, too. That had like 2,000 yeah, or something. That was a really powerful grenade. Grenades are awesome in Borderlands too. Um, so that that Murph, it's a bandit class, and and this when this one drops, it'll make five smaller ones. Um, oh, we actually have a better one equipped, I think. Yeah, lob yeah, this the Oh, it's a Merv. Yeah, they're, nice. That one, the lob versus where they're pretty even. I'm shooting back there. Oh well. Back to the mission. Yeah. And this this guy's gonna come with me. Not anymore. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. You got a thresher. So the, the vortex, the, the, the phase lock doesn't really work on thresher. Yeah, because they're, they're, they're oh in boy. the ground. Oh, no. 
Oh no! What happened? What happened? I think he you ate me. Inside so. of <laughs> no, no, you're inside of slide pressure. Oh, good. Jump. This hasn't happened before. Jump. <laughs> you can't see because you're inside of slide pressure. You got slagged and sucked into him. Okay. All right. You're, you're, you're all, you're I all think right. I'm okay. I got scared. Yeah. Nice. Those guys will slag you and do a lot of damage. So. Usually, guns are if they get anywhere near me. Yeah, they just shot at me. Cool. Uh, die, 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 die. You know how it goes, you know. Focus, calm, collected. And a little tadpole. Yeah. Like They're ganging up on me. Nice. Level All right. Up. All right. I'm going to hide yeah. over here yeah. <laughs> and uh, see what we get. What's neat is when you're playing solo, it actually pauses the game when you're in your menu. Oh, nice. So we know that you're alone, and we actually pause all the action. So can we? No, not no. yet, not yet. Do we have to upgrade everything all the way to get? No, no. Get every it, whatever you put it in, you'll notice it'll increment go down a little more. And mm -hmm. so I think you need four more points uh, in order to get down to that. So right. anywhere you put the points will help. Well, let's continue um, with uh, right. where he was at, where he was going. All right. That is. Are you playing someone else's save, Dustin? Yeah, yeah, this is okay. not my save because uh, you know I need to cap. I need to capture everything when I play a very, yeah. you know, specific way. So you yeah. play OCD. Well, no, we have to log it all so that uh, we know what happens yeah, like and everything. Yeah, he's like so, making the guide yeah. for the game. Oh, yeah. okay, cool, yeah. right on. Oh, that's a fun job. We had so we worked really closely with the Brady guys too, and the, they did a, a book that's like super thick. Oh boy, and, yeah, and yeah wormhole really thresher. Big. Yeah, he's got me. We warned you about those in the hammerlock trailer. Oh jeez. Oh no. Got, and there's a feeler. Yeah, so they've kind of surrounded me. You are, you've got threats. My shield aura. regen, yeah. thank goodness, yeah, is yeah. uh. It's good, yeah. Yeah, and you've got some. What else is attacking too. me? He's uh, overhead, I I'm think. Or run away a little bit. See, so yeah. you're having a little He's bit more. Right above you. You're having a little bit more trouble now, which just ties into our next question from Nick is Diz. He asks, how difficult is the game compared to the first? Uh, you know, difficulty varies based on your aggressiveness. Um, there are a lot of challenges in the game, but you know, you kind of can manage your own de uh, difficulty by how aggressive you are in pushing through the content. If you find that the game's difficult, just do some side missions, mm -hmm. grind a little bit, and it'll uh, it'll catch up, um, and you'll eventually get overpowered. If you noticed earlier when we were playing, he was able to just wreck everything because right. he was level 26 and he was dealing with level 12 and 13 enemies. Whereas right yeah, now. Right. This is a level 25 wormhole thresher, and he's level 27. And he is being threatened by it. He's able yeah. to handle it, but that guy just took his shields all the way down. Mm. He's sitting at about half health here. He's slowly regenerating. But um, we got something like right here. Though. Yeah, there's. It might be on the platform above, okay. far above. Well, he can stay up there. Yeah, yeah just in there. I got something for the next uh, boss type. There's some more threshers coming. All right. Up. And there's a wormhole too. Prior target prioritization is key. Here. I'd get the wormholes first, then then the feelers. Oh boy. I, 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 I. Yeah, you definitely want that wormhole before you start oh moving around the battlefield. Oh, you're dead. Oh. Whoa, no. So I still Can have a chance, a though. There's I don't know if it's going to happen. Uh, anything yeah, with low know. health. Yeah, probably not the wormhole. Well, no, I'm going to have to re respawn on this one. Uh, That's too bad. See, Something died over you there, can't though. can see that it, there yeah, are challenges yeah. in this. So game. I actually love the dialogue every time you die and respawn. Isn't that funny? Yeah. Hyperion's like really want you to die because they make mm -hmm. money every time you need yeah. a new you. Listen to this. Let's see what happens this time. Nothing? Yeah. It'll do something. Oh, you just got the reconstruction note. Oh. Yeah, okay. It, it's random. Well, anyway, usually, <laughs> usually it's, it's hilarious. It's, it's random. It's random. But yeah, since it's like, thank you for dying. Please die again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, LL Jenkins asks, is Borderlands 2 easy to pick up and play if you've never played the first game? Yes. Yeah. In fact, it's a great place to start. We thought we took that in mind. Yeah. So um, uh, we don't build the story on any assumptions that you know anything about any of the characters. If you have played Borderlands 1, there's some cool references and some things you'll find funny, but if you haven't, this is a great place to jump in because it kind of brings it all to you. We, we, we know that there's a lot of people that haven't discovered Borderlands yet, and we wanted them to, to discover the best possible Borderlands game, so we, we made sure to make it accessible to people that are new to the series. Wait, did that have an element on it? It looks like it's got electricity, yeah. yeah I'll take that. Yeah. <laughs> See if it's... Just in case. 
See if it's a little better than It's a white, guy. but it did have a shock effect, which is kind of cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Zoop um, Sniper. Let's try it. Reload's pretty good. It's got a pretty good reload speed. Yeah. Is that a Malia one? Mm, what? Yeah, it's a Malia one. I like the Malia one designs. Some of the stuff Malia one makes feels like it should have been a Mass Effect. <laughs> Yeah, see, so now we're doing You're electrocuting damage. the crap yeah. out of him. Oh boy. Yeah, this is where <laughs> you died before. Yeah. So I probably don't want to die again. Feels it down. Yeah. Great. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to get a choice. Oh you just gosh. ran into this fight unprepared. Oh my gosh. We'll learn though. Third time's yeah. a charm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you might get, get a. You might get a, a uh, Come on. You got. Oh, you got really close. Oh man, they're all like, like oh. they all went underground when they got low. <sighs> okay. I believe in this you. Time. Let's go to those areas where I'm ten, ten levels <laughs> higher than everybody. <laughs> Maybe yeah. they'll say well, something let, funny this let, time. Let's uh, let's equip your best gun and right. your best your best shield and your best gear. Let's mm -hmm. let's do some right, max. Need a pistol. Here. Hmm. There's pros and cons to each. That's a better pistol. I don't really need a rocket launcher. Not for this content. Mm. Yeah. Rapid fire things are great. Things that put elemental effects on them are great. Hey, here we go. This will slag. That's them. a slag. Yeah. Start with your slag actually, mm -hmm. and then switch to something high damage. And then we got. See, so now we're actually planning. We're actually going in with a yeah, plan. Yeah, you, you're gonna. That's great, right there. Yeah. Good. And then switch back to the other sniper for some. If I can keep him at a distance. Yeah. Just in case, you know. Yeah, so, so I'd hit him with the slag first and then switch to that other. Mm -hmm. Make sure my shields are good too. You don't have any options. So. You don't care. Eh. Oh, you got an XP bonus. Yeah, the relic? Yeah, you know, there's a, it's Moxie's endowment. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Um, there's, a, um, there's a relic that you can get uh, with the pre-order bonus actually that increases the quality of the gear you find. Oh, nice. It, so like that's like, Super valuable with the pre-order bonus, and uh, it, you oh, know this is a cool gear gun. hunting. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. Gear hunting, you know, is everything. So if if quality is improved of the of the gear you're finding, you're, mm -hmm. you're happy. So gamer infinity asks, what was one thing the Gearbox team learned from consumer feedback of the first Borderlands, and then used to perfect Borderlands 2? We learned that if you tell people that the whole game is about finding and opening a vault, okay, then, that and then when, you, when you get to the end <laughs> of the game, latch onto that. yeah, and there's there's treasure in the vault. They're not going to appreciate if it's like surprise. That was a misunderstanding. It's mm. not a treasure vault. It's actually a prison. Ha ha. ha. <laughs> like that. That what we thought was a clever twist turned yeah, out to be really frustrating. That, okay. So like, gotcha. be better ending. I think. Okay. Is, yeah. So like, that that's a good one. Um, <laughs> We learned a lot of lessons, though. Like, I, it's just way beyond the scope of anything we can talk about. I mean, let's respawn a little closer. There we go. Hit a new checkpoint for a better new U location. Get ready. This is where it all. Oh hey. Went bad. Mm. I'm ready. I got my slag sniper. All right. Does more damage. Come on out. Hit the slag first, and then switch to one of those rapid fires. Come so on. Can... Don't be shy. There's the big guy. Oh, that's just, no, it's not, it's shadow. Yeah, it's the shadow from something overhead. Here they come, here they come. Your shield's already done. Oh, jeez, really? You need cover, you need cover. Oh, boy. Yeah, out there in the middle already. Switch to, yeah, switch Dude, to something rapid again. fire. <laughs> I switched. I don't know if I can get past you gotta, You gotta, yeah. Crick, 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 crick. You can do this. I would use a submachine gun instead of a pistol, but. Can I switch? There you go. Oh, you're so you Got go. it. Yeah. All right, let's so get the hell. Oh! No. See if you can. Oh, these wormholes are just chewing you up. No, I yeah. Well, I yeah, hit them with the. the once they create that gravity well and they suck you into their spikes, you're just, got you're just melting. Okay, get back to some cover. Hit people at a distance with slags. Switch, switch to submachine gun and. Don't you like backseat drivers? Yeah. yeah. I want to, I'm like, oh, dude, I, I can do this. But the, this, <laughs> this backseat driver built the car, so. <laughs> yeah. Well, again, just one, one member of a great team. There we go. Dude, you got this now. Look at you. Oh. Learned, learned a trick or two. There's one, a little baby yeah. behind you. 
get out of here. Wouldn't that be funny if it was the tadpole <laughs> that finished you off? He's the one who keeps messing yeah. with me. All right, what, All was right. that, what was that green that dropped? There's a green behind you, yeah. It's a, it's a caustic. Acidic, yeah. Because yeah. we're in caustic caverns, so mm -hmm. the caustic drop makes sense. All right, All right a little scare, there's but there's a, a chest, chest over, over there. there. There's some cash. Yeah, it's like, you've learned. It's like, okay, <laughs> there's a loot chest. I need to it be careful. It just begs you to go towards it. Yeah. Let's see who's up You're going to climb up. Yeah. What's awesome about Borderlands 2 is that like, even though you have a, a mission and a goal, you kind of just get lost in a... Oh, slag singularity. Okay, so this one, well, mm -hmm. like what the what the Thresher guy did to you, yeah. you can do that to enemies. You'll create a, oh wow, homing incendiary nice. singularity. Okay. That is, okay, you got a couple of badass grenade options there. Mm -hmm. You might want to change that up. Let's see what we got. And this is what it's all about, right? The loot. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So like that, that singularity, that's pretty badass, but there was another, you had an incendiary that's, that's homing. That one. So that one will actually home in on the enemy. Once it blows up, it'll pull the other enemies towards and then the explosion. Yeah, before it explodes, it pulls them in. So it creates a little pop, they all get pulled in, then it creates a big pop, lights them all on fire. Nice, let's that try thing. that one out. <laughs> yes, let's. That is, this is a good grenade. You would, you would have loved to have what you're using right now in the last fight you just did. <laughs> <laughs> Darn it. Can't aim. No, I, just get out of here. I love my power. I like this gun a lot. It's, it's pretty cool. It uh, fires in first. What was that that just dropped? Back there. Yeah. You're like crazy about Dude, the loot. I, like, <laughs> I like seeing what happened. Another grenade. All right, it's another grenade. A longbow. Not so quite I, as good. I, I would I'll just pick pocket it, up, it so. but. Longbows are cool though because you can teleport them to a long distance. So like when you know there's an enemy group way out in the distance that hasn't seen you yet, you can just open up the fight with a longbow grenade. What's attacking me? What's tearing down? You oh. got some bar kids all over the business. All right, there you go. Yeah, that's a pretty neat slag weapon. Yeah. Slag weapons are most effective when you can just get some slag on them and then switch to some other weapon because mm -hmm. it multiplies damage from other. Oh <laughs> the worst is like when one guy your, hits you. Crowd control. Yeah, It'll pull the others into him and then you can just grind them all up. Or fail. Or miss him. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Oh, he's a badass. He's, he's merged. You're converted. Yeah, you're. You, that's bad. He's like, Oh, geez. It's okay. Good move, good move. That's not doing anything. That, now you got another one. Oh my god. And they're coming, there's more. Reload yeah. faster! They're all... Yeah, you're, you're in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> let's see, let's see what can happen. Definitely pick them apart one at a time. You don't want them to level up because when they yeah. get low, they get they they go into their little. There's another pod growing into something right there. Nice. Oh, the reload so slow on this character. Oh, oh darn it! I just no. killed someone there for you to kill. Where are they? There's one. Can you finish her? Maybe. Oh, no, not gonna make trouble. it. Ah, that's close. Cool. Let's no. check our map. Let's see what, like, we've kind of just, we're just having fun with and stuff. Let's see. Uh, it's let's still gonna spawn closer. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's check our map and see where that, where the mission is. The mission's like, you gotta go all the way around yeah, and then yeah. inward, I believe. Yeah. It's actually a tricky one. So, we pretty much gotta go into the yeah, center it's of the map. An area objective, so, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And uh, I think you pick it. Yeah, there we go. I think I can get this. Have faith. We don't have to fight these guys anymore, I hope. 
right? They're not going to respawn? <laughs> no, I think not for a while. Not okay. for a while. Eventually, the areas repopulate themselves, but you're good. Maybe this time I don't mess around with the vac crits for, and let them all turn into badasses. Yeah, that was rough, dude. They were all evolving and mm. getting more and more powerful. You had a bunch of adults and a badass out there. He's still an adult, so. Oh, boy. Because they yeah. all start as larvae. What am I doing? I just said I'm not going to do this. You can't help it. It's like yeah. you, it just draws you to it. It's, mm. Well, you've got a bunch of mm, finish oh, him. Babies. Yeah, if you get a larval, you finish it before moving on. Because if you do half damage to a larval, it will mutate. All right, cool. Yeah, you got this. Yeah, I kind of using the environment for cover. Good job. Yeah, I kind of kited him back. Yeah, this time. Cool. There we go. Learn and adapt. <clears throat> so I think one of the I think you're finding tape recorders in this mission. Is it that? There's one? all kinds of stuff. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. So here's we got a new location now. Get some ammo. I'm pretty good on ammo, it seems. This might be another uh, good time to give away another prize pack. This will be a copy of Borderlands One and Two. Wow, that's a Platform good Platform of your choice. Uh, that's yeah, that's hardcore. Know. It's going to go to the Eric Fordham. Who asks what dramatic events have happened between Borderlands One and Two? I assume he means in the game. Yeah, he's probably. He's, no, I'm assuming world. it's like from a, a narrative uh, <laughs> point of view. So, when the Vault Hunters opened the vault in the first game, things changed. Uh, you, you unleashed an ancient evil that had been in prison there, and um, the, the all the iridium in the planet itself began to vibrate and hum slowly. And Handsome Jack, who was the CEO of Corporation kind of noticed this, and he started harvesting, mining all of the iridium and becoming very, very powerful. Now he sees himself, Handsome Jack's total, a charlatan. He, he's, he's a jerk, he's a tyrant. He what sees himself as a good me? guy, though. Oh, and he, 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 But he really craves power, mm. and he really is looking to, uh, to, he wants to be like the Emperor of Pandora. So he started harvesting all that iridium. He used the mining robots that Hyperion had, turned them all, weaponized them all, turned them all into, um, uh, agents of, uh, of, of control nice. and power, and, uh, and he really took over. Uh, the heroes from the first game had lives. They, they, there's some things that, that they did in between. Oh, that badass wanna, came back to find me. Yeah, I don't want to spoil uh, spoil it. You got a wormhole just chewing your health away right now. You yeah, finish him fast. Um, yeah, that's Barkin's in your business. Get out of here. Nice. So yeah, so so the heroes from the original game, they you know they had. They had some things they went through, um, but it's Can really about the out rise. About yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't want to spoil it, sure. but it's a, it's a setup. Handsome Jack became super powerful, and he's a super dick, and he's uh, he's sort of taken over the place. So um, he's found a new vault. Uh, the new vault is um, a prison. Just kidding. No, no. It's <laughs> it's actually it's actually a. Uh, a, a some kind of robot or, or beast. It's a giant alien thing that whoever turns it on controls it. Now he's found it, but he doesn't know how to turn it on. And uh, he knows that the only thing that's going to get in his way while he figures it out is if another vault hunter finds it first. Whoever controls it, whoever opens it and controls it will, will have all the power. And, if it's someone who's not Jack, they're going to use it to, you know, get rid of Jack and de dethrone him, basically. And if it is Jack, he could use it to take over the universe. So, you know, whoever finds it first is a really important question. And Jack becomes worried about someone finding it and opening it before he does. So uh, he, his plan is to lie as a charlatan and to basically promote, hey, vault hunters out there, come to Pandora. Join with me because we're going to find this vault and you guys are awesome at that, so let's all team up, right? So he invites all the vault hunters to Pandora, but every time a vault hunter shows up, he just kills them. <laughs> he, his oh, real goal is to eliminate the competition. So he's kind of a liar, and I don't know if it's because uh, you're lucky or because you are the chosen one, but when you come to Pandora, he tries to kill you, uh, but you survive, and this kind of starts the adventure uh, where you... Over, overthrow Handsome Jack and, and uh, find the vault and open the vault before he does. I'm a little OCD with uh, checking my weapons, seeing yes. if I got one better, trying it out. Yeah, that's you know, choice like is what it's all about. It's got a better pistol. That thing's really cool too. I like the reload on it. <laughs> yeah, 
a pretty quick reload. And I'm about to fight some spider guys. That's a Hyperion weapon, so you're kind of a traitor right now. <laughs> hey, it works, right? Yeah. Have you found any with like the alien barrels on them? No, not yet. But I remember, I remember um, uh, when I played the first one, I ended up finding the the alien weapon that was one zero zero one zero yeah, yeah, zero yeah. one, and that was actually binary for lol. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with, yeah. Which was pretty freaking cool. Yeah, we, we we like to do stuff like that. There's that incendiary homing thing. With yeah. unfortunately, there's no other creatures nearby to give you the full effect. Because it also did a vortex. Oh. oh man, he's so close to dying too. Where is he? He went in the hole, he's behind you. There he is. Oh, that's somebody else. It's a pretty good weapon though. Yeah. Yeah, that weapon is badass. I'll just stick with my pistol from now on. That thing is really cool. Yeah. Holy crap. That was the green that I just picked up. That's pretty good for a green. Mm -hmm. And you really do get attached to these things. Yeah, yeah. But then when you find something awesome, you're so quick. Like yeah. I'm like, oh, I don't care about that guy yeah. anymore. Like yeah. it's so it's so interesting how quickly we'll <laughs> we'll turn. <laughs> There's one shotgun in particular in this game though uh -huh. that I just can't bear to get rid of because oh, yeah? the whole mission based around it. I don't want to ruin it, but it's pretty great. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I think I might know what you're talking yeah. about. These vectors do not like me. Jeez. That guy's a badass, and there's another one behind him. Oh no, it's the it's empty shell. Nice dodging. Look at you, straight and like a pro. You're like yeah, dodging, he, dodging the spit like a boss. He can stay over there. <laughs> there you go. Oh, this thing does not. <laughs> All right. Well, viewers, we're a little over halfway finished with our live stream of Borderlands 2. Still plenty of time to ask any questions. Just tweet them at IGN. That also automatically enters you to win a copy of both Borderlands 1 and 2. I honestly have no idea where we're going. I haven't done this mission yet. So, so what, it's what a I would follow do, it's, clues. A, it's an area mission. So mm -hmm. around here, you should be fine. That's why you kind of want to investigate everything that pops up. And yeah. um, you should find the uh, pieces you need. The spider ants are not going to like So me. like if you look at the, under the acid soaked railroad, in the warehouse on the shore, in the oh, bigger okay. shadow, and er, in this area is where you find each of these things. So are they not specifically marked on the map? You actually right. do have to go and search for them? Yeah, they're, 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 this is, there's a bit of hunting and discovery. It's almost like a scavenger hunt. Oh, geez. That is a very tough. Now, he does have a weak spot, but it's not where you're shooting. Yeah. <laughs> So the next time you get him crowd control like that, get behind him and shoot that red gushy stuff behind him. So you've got your cooldown. So run behind him real fast. Shoot him in the gushy. In the gushy? Yeah, the red gushy there. Ah, oh, you turn around too quick. Yeah. And he's just spitting web shit at you. I'm hoping I can dizzy him. Yeah, you got you got one leg. So so every time I gotta reload. There, there go. we go. Yeah, see, how, they're super weak. What's that doing? Well, that must be some other mission we have. He has a comment about that. What's that blue thing right there? See that? That look down. At that right that, that might be. That's a spider ant part for some other mission. Oh, okay. <laughs> so that's what that's what Zed was talking about. Collecting spider ant parts. We'll do that one for Zed. Some parts. Yeah, there we go, that was easy. <laughs> Mission done. Turn yeah, that let's, one. let's switch back to the yeah, okay. Yeah, there we go. Oh my god. Those are tough. Just shoot the, shoot the red right thing right there. Yeah. Do a lot of damage when you hit them. The knights have such thick armor, they're yeah. really difficult to penetrate. Zero with the boar skill with the sniper is really good on the spider out. Yeah. yeah. Also, like, because boar also shows you the crit spot. And it penetrates. So Randy, the game's yeah. out on the 18th. Uh, there'll be midnight launches, I assume. Yes, People will yeah. be getting at midnight. Yeah, before. in fact, Gearbox is in Dallas, Texas. So if you happen to be in Dallas, yeah. uh, all throughout that area, we're, we're in Plano. Like, uh, my hometown is um, Plano. So I tend to go to the one on Park and Preston. Some of the guys will be up in Allen. These guys are going to fan out all over the city. Yeah, we'll, that's what I was asking. If yeah, you we'll shake hands, sign autographs. The other thing, if you are in the Dallas area or if you can get to the Dallas area the weekend before, we're having our launch party mm. and Gearbox Community Day in Dallas uh, on September 15th. 
and we have a celebrity charity poker tournament the 14th, the night before. So the day is going to be amazing. You can go to our website, gearboxsoftware.com, and find links to information about it. It's going to be amazing. We've got a whole day of awesome events and activities planned, exclusive stuff. We're going to make some announcements. We're going to reveal some things. Oh, We're going to, we got the, all the games there. So like you can play Borderlands 2, you can play Aliens. Mm -hmm. Um, before it launches, all that stuff. Um, we're gonna have um, some, uh, you know, people that are, you know, industry people there that are kind of cool that some of you guys might like, and and it's gonna be a great event. We're just gonna spend all day with our fans, and then that evening, the launch event, it's off the hook. Please. Some great talent. We got a great uh, rockabilly band to open it. Uh, Flame Trick Subs. We've got, um, oh we've got the heavy. So oh they're boy. playing our launch party. Nice. The heavy, you know, how you like me now? Mm -hmm. I love yeah, those great. guys. And they, they actually, we use their song in the game and we use one of their songs for our upcoming TV trailers, mm -hmm. our up TV spots that are coming up. And um, uh, also, and then to party the night away after the main act, we've got DJ Jazzy Jeff. Oh my gosh, it's awesome. I know, right? Very and it's cool. just gonna be, and, and you can come to all these events for free. That's great. Uh, there's some, if you, if, you're, if you do have some disposable income and you want some, extra stuff and some exclusivity and some conveniences or some different tiers where you can opt in for you know better seating and some other things like that but if you don't have a lot of money and you happen to be in dallas and you just want to have a great night with gearbox guys come to the launch party come to the community day and check it out on our website it's going to be it's going to be amazing and like i'm going to be there the whole time i'm we're going to be signing autographs shaking hands talking to people about the game and just just having fun and the, some of the guys that do like some of our t-shirts and other things uh, I haven't even seen it yet, but they've created some exclusive oh. merchandise, like some exclusive t-shirts and some nice. other gear. So I'm actually going to be at the merch table You're buying stuff it out. <laughs> for me, you know. So uh, so if you like that kind of stuff, there's going to be things you can get there you can't get anywhere else in the world. So that'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, and that's in Dallas. And the midnight launches are great. And I'm really excited. I've got um, my wife and my son and I are going to play co-op together nice. and we've got our room set up with the three machines like Already, yeah. I've obviously played the game a ton but they they, they you know they've been exposed to a little things yeah. here and there but they haven't played the game through yet so they're we're all gonna play it together we're gonna co-op it from beginning to end we're gonna go out on midnight we're gonna buy our copies and we're gonna go home and we're just gonna immediately start playing the game of course I, I'm gonna go to work the next day but uh, uh, I'll be playing every night and then the weekend is just Borderlands that owns my weekend. You don't get to take a big Borderlands vacation. You know, I, I love what I do and um, I you know we got a lot of things going on so it's really not not the best time for me to just stop. But um, I don't I'm fine. I, I don't like to me what we do at Gearbox is a vacation. <laughs> I love what I love what we do. You, you guys you figure it out for it sounds like I, I ha I'm happiest in the world, you know, just working with teams of creative people and making stuff. So these guys won't stop spawning. Yeah. <laughs> You've not found any of these clues. No, yeah. but I'm near one. I think, anyway. Is that what the, the map, like the flash on the map means you're near it? No, uh, the he's right within there. the zone. Okay. He's within the zone. So What's interesting about the game it? is that it's just combat is kind of fun, and I don't know, you just kind of get sucked into just playing. Um, and, and even if you aren't, like, Laser focused on mission completion. Yeah. You just you just you just find yourself going at it. Well, this is a great spot to farm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what's that? What's that? Okay, so check this out. So that is a that is a Gunzerker class mod. So what you do is you keep it, but you go to your shared stash in Sanctuary. There's something new in Borderlands. It's a shared stash. So if you have a Gunzerker character but you're not playing it, and the Gunzerker loot drops like it just did, throw it in the shared stash, and then load your Gunzerker, and you'll find that you have access to the same That's very shared cool. stash. Nice. Yeah, it's a new feature we added, so you can you can kind of uh, twink gear between characters. All right, so I got to be close to something. There's a door here. You're on the edge, so you're actually outside of where the stuff is. So. What I would do is I'd get back in the middle of it, I'd, I'd, I'd follow the clues. <laughs> Under the acid soaked railway, in the warehouse on the shore, in the digger shadow. Where's the digger shadow? That should be easy to find. And then within Doll's Bloody Six. So Computer Man 9 asks if two people play with different levels, does the AI difficulty act independently or is it based on the host's level? Um, the the, the, there's a, an algorithm act, uh, in there that actually takes 
uh, into consideration the game state, so which which game state you're playing, but also the relativity of the players in the game. Um, if they're radically mismatched, um, it'll tend to lean towards um, the the game state of the host. Um, if they're radically mismatched, so that allows for um, players that are very strong uh, to not have their game state nerfed if they're the host. It also allows for the players that are kind of weak or early on to invite friends that might be super OP, they can help them along. So if you're like awesome and you've got a friend that's just new to the game and they need help, you can take your awesome character and uh, uh, help them out and you're, you're gonna be OP. But the, there's also balancing just on number of players and the relative strength for those players, so. I can hear you, but I can't see you. They're in there somewhere. I hate those little guys. Yeah. Okay. You, okay, you, I don't need to. Yeah, and you don't want to burn a. Uh, I like wasting ammo on them. Yeah, you could always uh, crowd control. Yeah. So okay, I'd, so we're I'd still. Go, I would go. I would go to the. Yeah. Go in there. There's something doll related. Under the acid soaked railway. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't want to let these hack. Here we go. I can probably handle one. That is lovely. That's a new, oh. there's a blue that drops, so clean these guys up and let's check that out. Stay still. Maya liked whatever that was. That is Take a pretty out. beefy pistol, and it had an explosive effect on it. Let's check it out after I wipe up yeah. a couple of these guys. Where are you going? Oh, get out of here. So we're actually back at the beginning. I'm going to start over. Yeah, you've been, you've been sort of running around. You're just in this, this zone, and the goal is to follow the pool loose. In fact, you can kind of read the text description if you want after you clean this area out. Mm -hmm. And um, the other thing, like I mentioned before, since you're playing solo, if you go into the menus, it'll pause the game. Oh, okay. okay. So you can deal with that gear you got. You can also look at that that caught the lost treasure description. Um, so the clues are in the objectives, right? Mm -hmm. So under the acid soaked railway, in the warehouse on the shore, in the digger shadow, within Doll's bloody six. That's that's those are the clues to find those things. Within and Doll's bloody six. Well, we're by a bunch of Doll stuff. Right oh, yeah. So, oh boy. You should try to get pistol out. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that too. I keep forgetting I can go into menus. Yeah. I'm so used to not being able to do that. Yeah. So I have a great pistol. Yeah. Um, what have we got now? Tough decision. Ooh, this one has explosive though. Yeah, it's explosive so. and it does more damage. Yeah. Let's try so. that guy out. Nice. Wow. That's a Torg. I like Torgs. <laughs> can I go in here? No, that one's blocked off. No. But um, I would, I'd follow it around to the left, and then I'd keep my eyes out. Let's let's do the let's do the let's do the the, the what is it the railway that's under the acid soaked railway? Yeah. Let me just because if you look up, it seems like yeah, that's acid. It seems like that's an acid soaked railway. <laughs> Uh, so Trilla Frilla asks, yeah. what type of environments oh, can we expect? Oh, they're fighting each other. What type of environments can we expect? We saw the tundra, now we see the caustic caverns. Yeah. Uh, what else might we be seeing? You know, when Jeremy, the art director of Borderlands 2, when he first got started on this, his goal was variety of environments. Uh, it's one of his key, not, not the only goal, it's one of mm -hmm. his key goals. So, you know, he, he dug into the, his box of Crayola crayons there and looked at all the colors. And he wanted to have all the colors represented, so he's got everything from, I mean, you've seen you know, these couple of environments that we've just been playing in, but you know, he's also got, you know, lush green grass, and mm. he's got, you know, lot like red fiery lava and all kinds of interesting environments. I don't want to ruin some of the surprises, but you'll find a lot of variety and a lot of discovery out here. We didn't see a lot of lush green grass in the first game. No, no, we spent a lot of time with brown. Yeah. And then we had like light brown. <laughs> uh, we had some dark brown. <laughs> 
I like the dark. There was also a gray brown. Dude, <laughs> what the hell? That is really cool. Normally, I just grab a shoddy, but this isn't working. Yeah. Back to my corner. Okay. Jeez. I just hate me for this demo. You didn't like the explosive pistol. No, you it didn't was... like the sight on it. I just, uh, I switched it up because uh, I like rate of fire better. Yeah. So yeah, it had a lower rate of fire. Same thing with shotguns. Like, I don't like a shotgun with three things because you got to reload. Yeah. So I'll swap it out for when I can shoot faster. Or shoot more rounds, you know, faster. Oh boy. They got me cornered. I gotta take care of them. Yeah, you got this. Thing. Nice kids. Got my doorway here. I can hide in. You know, you know, there's like, so many different. As you know, you know, you've been playing through the game. There's a lot of different side quests. He's so close to me. Got it. Got it. So many different side quests, and they have a whole different spectrum of difficulty and complexity. And they'll, they'll tell you too, like what what the difficulty of the of the quest is, of the mission is, so you can see that in your menu. Mm -hmm. Alright, so if we imagine that this is the acid railway and we kind of found a way to jump over there, we might find some that was close. Oh, oh hi. Get out of my way. I'm doing stuff. He threw me right into the acid. You are doing It's okay. You got this, I'm just gonna run. Oh god. You're gonna run into more of them. Yeah. Where so are there's, you running to? there's an area back over here. You go up here and you go inside. I was gonna stick to being under the acid soap railway. Well, yeah, it, <laughs> it leads back out there. Yeah, I actually think you ran past the, uh, the cleft item. Did I? Yeah. Okay. Which was under the acid soap railway. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's let's do it your way. But you know, it's, it, it's okay. Right. Is it over there in the middle? Where you saw it? There was something over there. <laughs> Are they telling it? No, I saw it. Yeah. <laughs> so they're all the people tweeting, yeah. twittering. I just saw those it. guys and I got scared. Yeah, yeah, okay. no, that, that's, that's I was a, like, I didn't. That's rational. There. there we go. Yeah. All right. Found one. You got it. So it looks like we're looking for levers. In the warehouse on the shore. What's that? What's that blue right there? Yeah. Oh, it's yeah, a classic. So again, another great, that, another great reason to keep the. Uh, keep grabbing them. Mandatory. Yeah. Um, it, to use the uh, shared stash. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In this case, we just, we're just playing. Yeah. You don't have to kill all that stuff. You can't yeah. imagine those guys. No, I was just looking to see if I could go around. Because it's set on the shore, so I'm trying to stick to the shore. So Randy, yeah. Zach asks, what kind of new features are you really excited about for players to experience? I'm pretty pumped for Badass Ranks. Badass Ranks is pretty neat because this is kind of an experiment. No one's ever really done anything like it and you know, it's certainly new to us. And, um, Can you maybe explain what those are? for Yeah, you yeah in fact, you know what, hit, hit start right now, or back, hit the back menu and let's go to the Badass Rank. Okay, in fact, you have six tokens. So yeah. look at all these stats that he's got, these bonus stats. So his maximum health is increased by 4.8, shoot class 2.8. He's got down there, down a little lower, you see gun damage is up to 4.3% bonus. And his badass rank is 1,859. So he has ranked up quite a lot. By completing challenges, by playing the game, you become more badass. And badass rank is attached to your profile. It's connected to you as a player not specifically to Maya. Mm -hmm. So if you were to go in to create another character, that character would retain the badass rank and all of those bonuses that he's earned. Cool. There's and, a few. And that, yeah, <laughs> and there's a lot <laughs> yeah, of challenges right. in the game. So there's a lot of opportunities to become more badass. And uh, basically, the more you play, the more badass you are. And um, so, so yeah, so if you go back to look at those stats, those stats apply to any character he creates. And each time he creates a new character as he's playing the game, that character would get, will uh, help him increase his badass rank getting more stat bonuses, which apply to anything he's playing. So he's cashing in some tokens now. When he cashes in a token, it rolls randomly and it picks a few things that he can choose, and whatever he chooses will get a slight increase in its effectiveness. 
So we went for a critical hit and got a plus plus 0.5 percent, which mm -hmm. is pretty big, pretty big upgrade. Fire rate. Rate of fire. Full helpful. percentage point of rate of fire. That was the first point that he put in rate of fire. Mm -hmm. And then, I don't know. Well, we'll do shield. So when you get you know slight randomization on on what comes up and what. And you can stack certain things that you like, or you can mm -hmm. spread it out. It's up to you. The other thing, too, that I'll point out here um, after he puts this point in, uh, if you'll notice down at the bottom, it says the Y button will disable. So hit the Y button. It toggles it off. So if you feel like it's cheating, or if you want to start totally clean, uh, if you want to have a, a pure character starting from the beginning, uh, you can just do that, or you can hit it again, and the nice. stats apply. And that that is a great way when you're building a new character to get the advantages of all the play that you've done. The other thing about badass ranks is they're not capped. There's no there's going. no level cap, you know, which is and it's a, it's a leveling system for your profile, right? So it's really kind of neat to think about that in the context of um, of uh, 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 like leveling up in meta games. You know, we're used to going, you know, there's some games. Oh, you have ten levels. You know, Borderlands has a level cap at fifty. Um, the, the badass rank, like he already had like 1,800. There's going to be players in Borderlands 2 that have tens of thousands of badass ranks. Yeah, make sure you're paying attention to those two when you play, because uh, what I got through to level 20, and then someone's like, do you know about the badass ranks? And I was <laughs> like, what? Oh my god! Yeah, and you, the, the stat bonuses are mm -hmm. very valuable, especially if you, you know, game it a bit. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> hey, buddy. There's a little bug in there. Where are you going? <laughs> Dodging your shotgun. Where is he going? Yeah. He's oh, dying, okay. that's where he's going. Yeah. <laughs> that was dumb. So it said uh, warehouse by the shore, so that's why I'm in here. Yeah, yep. You know what you should do? You should go on like the internet and Google this, because I bet somebody's, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Never mind. Wait, you're the guy. Yeah, you're, you're, yeah, the, you're guy. the guy. So they're going to be coming IGN. to you. <laughs> Oh, that's but I awesome. gotta figure it out first. Yeah. So yeah. We oh have my God. So this is evidence that the, yeah. the when you get when you guys do this, you do it the hard way. Yeah. Oh yeah. You we are play like through it, you're not getting cheat sheets from developers. You guys are yeah, earning yeah. the information. Do you mind if I put my feet up? No, here? please yeah. do. Make yourself. Relax. Relax. You've been here all day. Uh, like, I've had yeah. I've been having fun been though. Dude, I love some of these pressure types. You just you feel like fuck. Everything's going wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, like they're just shits wrecking you from every direction. Like it's it's weird how that one jumps. It's it's weird how when I play, I go from like oh dude I'm just the most badass I've got total command of everything to very quickly everything just going to complete oh crap, shit oh crap. and I'm just like oh my god <laughs> it's it's awesome how this game can do that sometimes. So Destin, we've got about 35 minutes left. You think okay. you can you can think you can find <laughs> well, all I these need clues? To, I know, no, I'll try to. <laughs> Trying to find a warehouse on the shore. I thought that was it for sure. It seems like it. It's a house with wares in it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, here. I like this. This you know this scavenger hunt style. Kind of. It, you know what? You know what this this kind of. And we have a few of these in the game. These kinds of scavenger hunts. But these are kind of like. Did you play the Half Life Two episode two? Um, where they had the radar caches. It was just one little side thing. There was this concept called radar caches. Mm -hmm. And you and it kind of showed you where the thing was, but it you had to find it. And it was a different kind of scavenger hunt. Now remember, all these scavenger hunt things are optional. That what mm -hmm. we're doing right now is totally optional. It has nothing to do with the main storyline and, and it's not, not necessary to complete it. But if you are a completionist and you like, you know, and, there, and there's a whole spectrum of different types of challenges. Some are, um, some are uh, uh, like this kind where they're scavenger hunt. Some are accomplishment based. Some are skill challenges. Mm -hmm. I've been doing them all, doing yeah. every side quest. Yeah, you're, you're, you're a completionist too. style, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, definitely. Well, you haven't done this yet, but this is about where you're at, right? This is kind of about yeah. your level in yeah. the game. So. so I'll have to do this eventually. Yeah. Well, when you go at it again, you'll you'll now yeah, understand yeah, you'll the type, and mm -hmm. it'll it'll be a little easier for you, I think, because um, you kind of know how to approach it as a, from a puzzle space point of view. Yeah. yeah, I'm trying to stick to the. So when you came in here, it said infested warehouse. Okay. And hello, guns. That's a Check good chest. There. You know, there's something in there. 
Ambush, ambush. <laughs> You're always on your... <laughs> yeah. Oh, that so. was a devastating class mod. So, only <laughs> only one for you there. Where you go? This is a good... That, that actually is a good class mod chest to farm. Shotgun's terrible. Yeah, it doesn't... Like this. Yeah, something, you got unlucky with whatever that is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a blue, it's just not... Yeah. Let's give out our third prize pack okay. to on. Tech Support. <laughs> he says, he asks, are we going to see the return of old enemies like Skags and Rax? Yes, yes. Um, you know, we, at first we, you know, we were, were so committed to this idea that experientially the game is new, but we also know that there's a lot of love for things that were in the first game. So, like for example, we were dealing with some spider ants earlier, um, and, and you with Skags, you'll definitely encounter some Skags, and you know, we, we, we very carefully meter, especially at the beginning of the game, we want you to feel a sense of wonder and, and be exposed to things you've never seen before. So oh, we, we're very careful about that, especially oh. at the opening of the game. You are in trouble now. Yeah, you're oh, not gonna make it. Get him! Oh, you, you got him. Oh, there's two of them? Oh boy. <laughs> You're in trouble, trouble, yeah, trouble. Yeah. yeah, so so but but we did we did make sure to, to bring some things back from the game the original game that we loved. And that, that also oh, goes to NPCs too, you know, there's yeah. you will fall. Yeah, you got Maki back in. Yeah, you know, and, and they, they make cameos. Some of them are critical to the narrative, some of them are there just to entertain us. But um, the the meat and potatoes are all new experiences. There we What's go. What's up? Some Torg rocket launcher action. <laughs> You just teabag that <laughs> market. Right. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Wow. I can tell, like, you the the you should play the left tree of the Gunzerker, yeah. which is all like automatically reloads when you switch weapons. Things like there's some oh, really, really interesting skills that are all about throughput that I think would really suit your play style. Nice. Like watching you play, mm -hmm. like the. What's the name of the left skill tree and Gunlust, I think, is the name yeah. of that skill tree for the Berserker, for the Gunzerker. And I think it's that's 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 from what I can tell just by watching your playstyle, and it, it rewards you for changing weapons a lot, and, mm -hmm. it, and it and it reduces your downtime because weapons ch switch really fast. Um, any weapon in inventory becomes reloaded automatically when you switch back to it. Here's a here's an interesting area. Oh boy, more of you guys. Six String HD asks if there are team combos in combat. Team combos, I wonder what he means by that. There are some skills that are very complementary towards uh, players working together. There are some character classes that have particular skill trees that are very, very complementary. There are, um, there are some advantages you get from stacking effects, you know, like um, Amaya built out with, um, um, all the way out with motion with a lot of slag capability, for example, paired with a Salvador, mm -hmm. who's doing a lot of elemental stuff like fire and, and, and acid, uh, can really lay havoc on, on as far as throughput goes. Um, so, I mean, it's really about, there's nothing that's gonna like call out and go team combo, you know, yeah. that's not that kind of thing, but um, there, there's a lot of the skills and configurations that are designed to be complementary for co-op players. Do you think it's in this area? I didn't see it anywhere. The next next spot. I will recognize the... Usually it like highlights it for you when you run by it. So. Yeah, they'll, they'll be glowy when... when uh, turn left, turn left. There it is. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, I, it, there go. That should, yeah, and then the digger shadow, like as you, if you just kind of move around this area, you'll, mm -hmm. you'll feel that, you'll, you, and you keep your mind thinking about Where's the digger, and what, 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 or what kind of shadows would be the digger shadow? Mm -hmm. um, that that'll it'll make it easier for you to follow the clue, I guess. I don't want to show you the way. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> well, I don't want to take away. The, oh, you're walking in. I'm looking up. Ah! I'm looking up, looking <laughs> yeah, for the yeah, shadow. Yeah. No, that makes sense. And every once in a while, I'll just kind of like stop and just kind of look around a little bit and soak in the environment. And that's mm -hmm. a good way to um, soak in it. Soak, <laughs> soak in the environment. Soak in the sights. Viewers, we have about 25 minutes left. Plenty of time to still uh, ask I'm Randy Pitchford anything you want about Borderlands 2. Just tweet your questions at IGN. That also automatically enters you to win a copy of both Borderlands 1 and 2, which we'll be giving out right at the end of the show. 
You can ask me anything, really. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Not even about. Let's see what color underwear I'm wearing. How was your lunch? A gray. Yeah. Gray boring today. gray underwear. Um, oh, I'm red today. Nice, nice. I've got a pair of red underwear. Pull down Destiny's no, pants. What, 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 they're, they're red. They're red. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. Just one it. more shot! The slowest reload there we go. <laughs> in history. Now I gotta run away. Oh and no. there's another one! Oh jeez. You just there go you away. There you go. Yeah. That's crowd control. See? Oh wait, what'd you see in the distance? Oh hey. What does that look like? Digger. Mm -hmm. Looks like some we're digging. And something else over there. So how would you get over there? And where would its shadow be casting? Yeah. Hmm. There's a lot of diggers. Those are far that way. Oh, oh there's, there's a, a closer <laughs> one. Oh no. This will work. Yeah, have fun over there. You're just like, <laughs> I'm just gonna ditch all of this business and not dealing with those guys yeah, anymore. Yeah, that's a good plan. Actually. They're tough. Yeah, they are tough. Reload. I need best friend. Every time you guys pop up. I was right by before, darn it. Yep. <laughs> but I think the difference was you didn't expect, you weren't thinking about the, the missions as in the context of them being clues. You were thinking yeah. about, I'm just going to walk around until there's a green highlighted for me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And once you made that connection, it's all started to make sense. Now I just need to find this lever. There it is. Bam. All Look right. at you. It's knocking down. Doll's right. bloody sixth. Within Doll's bloody sixth. Sixth tower. What does the bloody part mean? Mm, I was in that question. bloody room before. <clears throat> Over there. Save uh, the most cryptic clue to the end. Yeah. JH0666 asks, are there more cutscenes scattered around for narrative storytelling? You oh. know, we, the, yeah, every once in a while, very rarely we'll take brief camera control away, you know, when we're introducing a character and, you know, those are a lot of fun, those camera intros, you know, the character intros, but we don't, as a philosophy, we don't want story to interrupt gameplay. In fact, even when you're getting really important um, story information from a character, we leave you free to just run off. Mm -hmm. And what's neat is if you run off and you go far enough away, you'll get an echo uh, that'll that'll continue the conversation. So you can just play the game and... and and you'll get it, and and I think I, I think I like that decision. But we do we do occasionally do some quick camera con cuts and, and control of the camera for presentation of certain things. But we try not to make it invasive, and we try to just get in and get out and just do it all about fast entertainment. You don't play a game like Borderlands because you want to watch you know 90 minutes of cutscenes. Yeah. You want to play you play Borderlands because you want to be playing the video game. Yeah. And we we recognize that. Oh, and that's right. Here we nice. go. Now what happens? Giddy up. Turn in. You follow the clues. Access top floor. Now this one, now that you've done it, mm -hmm. it, it tells you very clearly yeah, where, where, where the where the nice. objective is. So you can okay. you can find it on your map. Where's that ladder? Destin, that's definitely something people are gonna be looking up. Yeah. Where are these clues? <laughs> yep. First on IGN. Yeah. We will be archiving this. Okay, so I'll go back up here and head back that way. Whoop. This will be a lot faster a lot faster for you. Um, Come on, go up there. There we go. It'll be a lot faster for you when you do it again. Mm -hmm. Now that you understand. Oh yeah, now that I know where all the levers are. Yeah. There's a lot of that, just like running, running around, and uh, you know, figuring Discovery, out your way. Yeah. yeah. But look at you—you you went halfway through the le level 27 with all the things you've killed. So yeah. you've got a lot of experience <laughs> to show for that time. And you're about to turn something in, which will give you some more. Yeah. One thing um, that's just so fun about this is doing this with buddies. Yeah, you yeah. Know. So yeah like and this you're kind here of thing on the too, couch. You can split up. Like imagine four player co op, and yeah, each player is that. going to prioritize a different thing. Yeah. And then it's almost like a race. Like the guy that can get his done last is like, oh, everybody else is like, come yeah. on, dude, really? Yeah. So you, everybody wants to be first, and they're really hunting. And all oh, the worms are back. Oh, uh, look at you! You're just running right yeah. through it. You got a whole trail of little red dots yeah. behind you. They can stay there. I'm worried about the guys in this yep. area. Yeah. Stay, 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 stay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, hey, there's some hello, iridium, iridium somehow you walked past earlier. Uh, that time. Oh, nice. Just slowing him Just down. Yeah, he's locking <laughs> as you run yeah. past him. The Rex 611 asks if there's any new ammunition with new status effects that weren't from the first game. Um, slag is the new status effect, and it's it's really neat because it's kind of like a universal benefit. It stacks, uh, stacks damage. It increases damage from other kinds of elemental effects. It looks really cool too. It's like this swirly, purpley stuff, and uh, yeah, we really levers. Really like oh, this looks ominous. Yeah, what's gonna happen here? <laughs> Don't you enjoy how we made the decision to give you unlimited sprint? Yes. Don't you hate when you get, <laughs> oh, sorry, you're tired. Oh, I'm tired. You I'm have better. to stop sprinting. <laughs> yeah. I guess like, that makes sense in real life, but is it fun? Yeah. yeah. It seems like your design this philosophy is, the, is like, you, you never forget that it's a game. Especially in Borderlands. Like, video games oh, are supposed to be fun. Oh, this And, uh... Find treasure is my next yeah, objective. That was our Akira homage, that, that elevator. It's like, like Akira. Doing it. Oh jeez, you got some badass Varkid, well, you got a giant spider ant on your off. business. Yeah, He's you're, you're not going to make it. Wall. That's a spider ant king. Hey, hey, have a little faith. I'll, I'll just not fight them. <laughs> and you got acid spider ants, and dude, you are in trouble, trouble, trouble. It didn't say fight everything in your way. That's true. It said find treasure. <laughs> oh boy. This is, this is how... This is how like strategy guide pros do it. They're just <laughs> yeah. like, I'm just gonna run past everything. Treasure, there it is. Give me treasure. Collect reward. Wow, yes. that's a purple. Did you see that thing? I didn't look at the stats. Mm -hmm. uh, you gotta go. That's a guy's name. Yeah, that's cool. I can just <laughs> kite them around. Yeah. I gotta look at these. You guys need Dude, to there's some up. serious business. A yeah, vengeful TMP. The lumpy rifle. Oh wow. Oh, I like the way that works too. This thing's sweet. That looks awesome. I'm telling you, man. I don't think you were even hitting that guy in his weak spot either. No, I'm not. No, he's just shooting them right through the armor. And you're doing damage, which is crazy. 395 piece. I'll take that. If you were hitting him with this squishy bits, yeah, you like would hand. be just wrecking him right now. So he's dead. Yeah. What else we got? Yeah, where to go? They're fighting each other. This works out for me. Dude, there's a whole mess of business. Awesome. You know, Throw one of those grenades out yeah. there, yeah. <laughs> oh, they're getting pulled to it. Oh, they ran off. They stopped fighting each other, I think. Yeah. Yeah, so sweet. So we beat the mission, we got the, the cool stuff. Oh, there was a flaming something or other. Yeah. Let's finish this fight off and then check out our loot. I think right. we have enough This gun is really freaking cool though, totally worth yeah, it. Yeah, it's pretty rad. It's doing a, it's like a heavy thump, man. It's yeah. like doing a lot of punch damage. And like thing. all I'm doing is holding the trigger. Yeah, here. here's. Boom, 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 yeah. boom. Those Look how many rounds thick, they have. Thick, thick slugs, yeah. It's one of these bandit weapons, so it's got a huge magazine. That's what I love about the, you know, you get a lot of fire before you have to reload. Of course, reload slower. Boom, 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 boom. You got, you got, yeah, this thing's great. All right, let's, so let's go let's look at our- Let's check out the gear here. Gotta get my gold. Some health, you need to get back. Oh. I did throw my rocket launcher, which was probably not yeah, the best idea. Get that back again. Yeah. Rocket derp. I'm gonna get rid of some of the weaker. Throw stuff some whites got. down. Yeah. Grim rocketeer. Slag. Wait, look at the purple that we I just got as the quest reward. I want to check this out the purple. Yeah. So look at that thing. It's caustic. Look how much damage it does. Mm. It's called dodge this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Matrix. Matrix. Yep, no absolutely. Yeah. Uh, let's see what it looks like. Equip it, I bet it looks badass. Whoa. Right. Oh, <laughs> oh, sweet. <laughs> she likes that. Whoa, fire it. Nice. Oh, it's Matrix. Yeah, yeah, yeah look, fire, fire it. Like, fire it just without zooming in. So you can see the effect, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> oh, Matt was having fun, I think. <laughs> Fervid provocateur. Get the ammo. Get rid look, of look at it, what's gun. the flame gun that, yeah, I ditched the Yeah, other I'm gonna down. ditch, uh, yeah, that's not okay, but. Because that looks fun. 
And then that's just a regular one. Yeah, you look, get that flaming thing out. Let's see what that's all about. The one you just picked up. Assault rifle. Wait, what was it? The flaming thing? I don't know, it's somewhere. Yeah, that, that fervid provoc. yeah. All right. Well, I really want to try this Matrix gun. Yeah. yeah. See what it does. You got something attacking you somewhere. Yeah, there is. is it auto seek or something? Oh, it doesn't do too much. What is happening? <laughs> oh, so you hit it and then it does caustic damage. Yeah, wow. Yeah, it's doing a lot too. Whoa. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you hit them, it yeah. like locks That's into like an them. explosive it dart, takes, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's going, oh my god, that was cool. Right, so. There's like guns and stuff in the game that you. Like, oh, you dude, there's seen. so many millions yeah. of guns I have not seen. There's, so this is I'm a flame thing. Shit all the time. Okay, see how it's stacking it, and mm -hmm. he's still melting off, and he's gonna yeah. die. Good for Karen for your people. I love these Malia ones though. They're so. I like the rate of fire. I like the way they reload. Yeah. They just feel good. They like you spin them up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This one's neat because it doesn't have the winder. You just slap in the magazine mm -hmm. on the side. It's a lot faster reload. Oh, badass pod. You're in trouble. Oh god, oh god. Oh god! <laughs> you got it. That was close. <laughs> oh, it hit the dude around him too. I think. Yeah, it's like an AoE. Mm -hmm. Nice. There's a couple pieces of blue stuff over there. What's yeah, that? I saw that. Oh, those, those are the things. Oh, those are the down. pistols yeah. I threw down. Yeah, because I want to try out the new stuff. Wow. I like this pistol. This wow. is a pistol I picked up forever ago. Sweet. Yeah. Let's explore up here a little bit okay. and then uh, wrap it up with And we'll call it. Use yeah. the gear so you just got. Big oh. Boom Theory says, in all the Borderlands 2 previews, the game is being played on a console. How is Gearbox tailoring Borderlands 2 to PC? The PC game is awesome. If you are a PC gamer, you, I think you're going to be really happy. What I recommend doing is doing a Google search for Claptrap's love letter to PC users. <laughs> Uh, just clap traps, love a letter to PC, and you're going to see uh, we committed to a whole lot of awesome features, um, tons of customization options, uh, everything from FOV to UI scale, um, built in, um, all of your graphics configurations. If you happen to have an NVIDIA card, full physics support, which is amazing. Um, you'll get the highest fidelity, highest resolution content and rendering possible on a badass PC. Um, I also uh, want you to notice that, like for example, go in the menu real quick okay. and look at your gear. Okay, now hit hit the right button, the right stick like a button. Like click it like another no, right the right thumb stick. Click it like a button. <clears throat> nice. It's an inspect thing. Now on cool. the, this and this all platforms have this, uh, and you can zoom in and out with the triggers. You know, so and then on the PC you can also take a screenshot of this, and the screenshot will take an image of the weapon and print out that, that item card too. So like PC users are gonna be the ones that populate the internet mm -hmm. with a database of all of the weapons mm -hmm, in the game sure. because of that feature. Cool. And I'm sure someone will write a tool which parses it all, all parses the information automatically and allows for some automatic um, population of those databases. But yeah, so there's a lot of neat things about the PC. Definitely look up that Claptrap's love letter. You can also go to the NVIDIA website to learn more about our physics features and see video demonstrations of the physics features. Um, lots of great support. I, lo I love the PC version of this game. I'm, my wife and kid and I are all going to be playing the PC version of the game. Oh, really? um, I'm also going to play through the Xbox version with, once I get a retail disc because I want all the achievements. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that's just my weakness. So. We're, all, we're all with you. Yeah. <laughs> um. I like this pistol. Normally I don't like gopher pistols. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You're melting right now. Yeah, it happens. <laughs> You see them all just kind of get yeah. physics gravity launched away like after they went through the... Uh, you want to hop to uh, another spot? Um, I don't know. I mean, I, how much time do we have left? Yeah, about 10 minutes left. Okay, I'll stay here and I'll just kill let's, stuff. Um, let's see what's on your... Uh, well, let's clean this out and yeah. let's see what's on your fast travel list. And then maybe we can glance at something. Now this is a question from Mr. Borderlands 21. Mr. Borderlands. Yeah. Says, can you go into detail about the ultimate loot chess game? Uh, the, what about the ultimate loot chest? He asked if you can go into details about it. About what, like what's in it? Yes. Well, okay, it's, well, one thing, um, unfortunately, it, the demand was crazy, so right. you, sure if was. you don't already have one, you're probably not going to get one. Um, the, they sold out, like, <laughs> instantaneously. Yeah. Um, the, 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 the publisher did a great job of committing to having a, you know, there's two tiers of special edition. Mm -hmm. The loot chest is the crazy ultimate edition, and it comes in a loot chest that's like a replica of, of a loot chest in the game. 
and it's got all the other things from the from the medium um, tier of the, the the special edition plus the loot chest, and I think there's something else in there. Um, it's really cool. Uh, I, you know, it was like $150 when it was available. The I saw somebody sell one on eBay for $700, and they didn't even sell the loot chest. They just sold their pre-order reservation for the loot chest, yeah. and someone bought it for 700 bucks. Other people have told me they've seen it go as high as a thousand. I think that's first of all. I think that's kind of shitty for someone to buy it just to post it on eBay. Yeah. So I hate that, but I, you know, we're, that's the world we live in. But I think. But also, you, the, just that de demand is there. That is impressive. Crazy demand. I, I was, and they, so they. They went in pretty strong between the loot chest and the um, the limited the the Vault Hunters edition, which I think there's still some available at Amazon.com. Between the Vault Hunters edition and the loot chest edition, there were more manufactured of those two than the entire set of all pre-orders for Borderlands One. So they really got bold and said, like, you know, we're going to take a risk, we're going to commit to a lot of stock here, and it just went like that. And I couldn't. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. Now, I've talked with David Eddings, who is our, li our licensing guy. He's helped make sure we like some of the toys, like the Claptrap action figure, some of the other action figures for Borderlands and for other games that we've done. Uh, he helps with the comic books. He's a really good guy that is plugged into the toy community and the, uh, the uh, manufacturing community and, and licensing. And, and he and I have talked about the possibility when we have a moment of creating a new kind of loot chest, maybe base it on a different type of chest that's just sort of a standalone item that you can buy. So if you missed out on the Ultimate Loot Chest Edition, but you still want some kind of loot chest, unfortunately the ones that were made for the loot chest, there, that was a limited run and that, that manufacturing run, they did all of the ones they could possibly make and ship by the time the game launched and that's, those are all spoken for, and that's How many all there's. More? Were there? I don't know the exact number, but that's all there's going to be. <coughs> lots, like tens and tens of thousands, like lots and lots of them were made. Um, it wasn't like they were being stingy; they only made a few hundred. Yeah. Uh, there's also there's a, a, a certificate of authentication, a certificate of authenticity Jeez. in there that'll that's numbered, so you'll mm -hmm. like somebody will have a, um, you know, that gets it will have that to prove that they got the real one, and then we'll. We'll, um, I'm gonna try to see if we can make some kind of loot chest for people that really want that, you know, that may be a standalone thing later. And it'll be a different loot chest because we'll have to like go with it, find a, you know, manufacturer. And maybe the same guys will have to remodel and retool, you know, to build that as a physical thing. And it's a really interesting process. You know, I've been a software guy my whole life and um, David knows a lot about making toys. You know, he used to have a toy company before he came to Gearbox years ago and um, knows a lot about that process. And he went to China to verify the, uh, the um, quality of the, of, the, of the thing like while they were building it. Didn't want to just trust that they'd ship something awesome. Went there and wa like watched it, oversaw the manufacturing while it was being made, while, while the first ones were coming off the line to verify quality control. And it's pretty cool. It's really, you know, even the Gearbox guys were panicked because it sold out so fast. We weren't even sure if we were going to get them. Some people are yeah. still, like I know a lot of us got our pre-orders in to get that right away because we knew it was happening and we were kind of plugged into it. But, you know, a lot of us are still nervous. I'm not even sure if I'm going to get, you know, if I'm going to be able to get one yet. I think I, I think they've got some set aside for us, but um, uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see customers first, you know. Yes, and your new guns are awesome. Yeah, I know. They're pretty great. Yeah, yeah, you got some good stuff. Oh boy, there. I got a big guy here. Just, she's just not good with shotguns. Seems. Yeah, she hasn't found any good ones. There are some amazing shotguns in this game. I have an amazing one, yeah, yeah. like on my character. I, l I like this Nelly one right here. Like uh, Anthony uh, took me on and I, I hit him twice with it and he's just like dead. Oh really, yeah. you did a duel? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> John Green asks, how difficult was it to balance the different classes? Um, it's a challenge, you know, and it's it's not an exact science because they're asymmetrical. Um, but the the neat thing is the different classes have such radical different playstyles they support and different qualities that the thing that say Maya is best at, no one else can do, and like no one no one can be the healer like Maya, like Maya can, for example. Um, no one can put a, an array of, of, uh, of elemental damage out like Maya can, and no one can do crowd control like Maya can. Meanwhile, like from a defensive point of view, like a, a, a tank-built Gunzerker is pretty good, but I, I, I think that the, the shield-built, um, the survival-built 
uh, uh, Commando is, is probably the most awesome characters from a survivability point of view. And then if you're looking for throughput, like just pure rate of fire and damage dealing ability, um, you know, some of the Salvador builds are, are up there. Um, and then for mobility, um, uh, mobility, utility, and, and melee, uh, and sniping, you know, zero is the best. So it's really, you know, they, they all have their strengths and weaknesses, and, and they're varied in that regard. Um, but yeah, if you like, if you just want to measure it from like a pure damage per second point of view, you can probably get the most throughput out of a strong Salvador build with the right gear and the right class mod. But you still won't survive a fight without the other players and their utility. You, you want the survivability of a, of a good commando there. You want healing capability. Um, you want the, the, the surgical kind of capabilities of the uh, surgical strike and precision capabilities of a, um, of a, of a, of a oh, zero, yeah, the cool. assassin. They all kind of work together. Dude, you are on fire and you're in the no man's zone right now. You're about to get. It's cool. Loaded. You got this. I'm it's using my deal. Matrix gun. Yeah, so that's cool. It takes a little bit yeah, to hit him. Yeah, you got it. Your shield's coming back. You're all right. Oh, there's a big guy. You're going to level up soon. Up line. Nice. This guy. Probably not the best for him. Yeah, dude, I want to see you. I bet with a gun less build for a gun, for a gun zerker, you'd just be... Okay. Sick, you'd be sick. Cause like you change weapons so frequently, and you and you're, you the reloads are killing you. So like eliminating the reloads and calling, you're keeping your rate of fire up. Yeah, you're very you're accurate even with even with kind of flaky weapons that are. This is bad. Yeah, you're in trouble. Oh, oh. It, it's out. There's a badass. But he's slagged. He is slagged. Oh god. No. Yeah. See that like. The, the gunless build, you can have a skill that would make that weapon loaded by the time you switch mm -hmm. to it. Should we go over here? No! Oh. <laughs> wow, he just freaking slapped you. Yeah, I don't know, man. There's a larval. Maybe you take that out first for fight for your life. Where is he? There he is. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? <laughs> ah, oh well. Well, we're just about out of time here. Our All final right. question and uh, final copies of Borderlands 1 and 2 are going to go to Big Fan 2, who asks, okay. what is something you wanted to add to the game but just couldn't be done feasibly? Oh, wow. You know, Borderlands 2 is one of those weird kind of things because usually when you make a sequel, you put all your wish list items together and, you know, you go through pre-production and then you realize what, you what can make it and what can't. Borderlands 2 is this weird anomaly that I've never experienced before where we're in pre-production you know, pretty much doing everything we wanted to do. And then while we're doing that, we're watching, like Borderlands 1 is still selling because it was such a such a weird game, how it launched pretty good, but it just took off yeah. and it grew and grew and grew and grew. So then like we're looking at the economics of everything, like, you know, we, we have a lot more people that love this than we expected. And it was after pre-production, we actually doubled the budget of Borderlands 2. So what happened instead of like cutting things, we actually threw in even more shit. Yeah. And so you have hundreds and hundreds of enemy varieties in Borderlands 2, tons of gear varieties that you know, we never would have gotten, um, more missions and side missions and end game content, things that normally would nev we never would have gotten to in the main game that might, we might have gotten to with DLC or something, all are in the main game. And, that, and the game itself is just, we went crazy. It's, it's just so, so there's so much value, so much content in it. We really went nuts with it. Justin, thanks for driving today. Yeah, sure. Yeah, dude, you, you didn't do too bad. Yeah. No, it was, it was fun watching. Time. I, I, I will confess there were a number of times where I just wanted to yank the yeah. Yeah, but, <laughs> yeah. You know, but not, not because you weren't doing a good job. I just like, you know, you got some cool stuff every once in a while that I wanted to play with. All these viewers, thank you for tuning in. If you won the copy of the games, uh, we'll be hitting you up on Twitter. Get your address. And uh, for all of you, we'll be seeing you soon. Cheers.